We welcome you to PPG Paints Arena in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for exclusive second round coverage of the 2024 Men's Basketball Championship between the number 11 seed in the South, North Carolina State Wolfpack, and the number 14 seed, Oakland Golden Gophers. Tonight's broadcast of the NCAA Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network is sponsored by Cintas, by Coles, by Renewal by Anderson, by CDW, by Progressive Insurance, and by NCAA.com. Hi, everybody. I'm Scott Graham, along with Jordan Cornett. Brad Heller joins us later from the Westwood One Broadcast Center. And here tonight, you've got an 11 and a 14 seed. You've got a pair of teams that, well, most people probably did not have advancing in their brackets. And, Jordan, you've got two teams here right now. One of them is a double-digit seed, is on its way to Dallas next weekend. Yeah, th this one is going to be fun because these are two teams that, like you said, Scott, weren't expected to be here. And both teams did it differently in round one. And Oakland team 13 threes, 10 of them coming from Jack Golke, who captivated uh, the basketball nation in his first game of this tournament. Meanwhile, 42 points in the paint for NC State. They did it with toughness. So which one wins, how they approach it here, could be wildly different than round one. Well, that Oakland game against Kentucky is going to be one that everybody will remember in this tournament for a very, very long time for a lot of different reasons. But when you take a look at what this team is and what they've accomplished this year, Talking to their head coach, Greg Campy, yesterday, he is excited about where this group is and who this group is right now. He's excited because they can win in a bunch of different ways. And we are talking about a leading end, Scott. You made the great point of Jack Golke is what everybody's talking about. But it's not just Jack Golke on his team. He comes off the bench. He's the sixth man of the year. It's Trey Townsend, who's the star, who had those 38 points in the champ game win to get them here. So they're a dynamic group. He knows they didn't show all their cards in their round one win. And they can surprise a lot of people again here by winning in a dynamic way. If you're North Carolina State, one of the things that you've got going for you tonight that this Oakland team does not have is size and depth of size along the inside. Now, D.J. Burns is size of his own, yeah. but there's also some help there in a couple of different ways. If they can get the ball inside, that could be an area where they'd have a great strength. Yeah, they're great at chasing 50-50s, getting on the offensive backboard. They're brutes. Ben Middlebrooks really gave this group a lift, and Mo Diara kind of like a hybrid big who could crash from the wing, can guard a bunch of spots. They can overwhelm you with size and physicality. Oakland has some. Could NC State overwhelm them there? That could be a storyline as we get into this one. Well, you've got an Oakland team that has never been to this round before. They have had an opportunity to win one tournament game coming into this year. NC State hasn't been down this road since 2015. When they got to that part on that road, they were eliminated in Louisville. So, what happens here tonight? We're going to see some drama, I am sure, between these two teams, both as double-digit seeds trying to survive and advance to the Sweet 16. Opening tip is next from the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. This is the Men's Basketball Tournament. Sirius XM is your home for all the madness of March. The ultimate upset has happened! Every buzzer beater and bracket buster. One, three for the win! Oh, as well as in-depth analysis before and after games. It is incredible how valuable every single possession is. Can be heard on Sirius XM College Sports Radio, Channel 84, and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Find out where to hear Westwood One's call of your school at SiriusXM.com slash sports. Great-looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants, to polos and khakis, to oxfords or t-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. Running your own business can feel a lot like running a one-person relay race. When you've got to expand your team, share the baton with Indeed. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and hire quality candidates to your roster. And they don't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. Nix the hassle. Start hiring. Learn more at Indeed.com credit to expand your team today. 
Protect your engine with Shell Rotella motor oil at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Shell Rotella provides triple action to help control wear, deposits, and emissions, and adapts to your driving conditions. Right now, save $5 on all one-gallon Shell Rotella products. Limit supply. See your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store or O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Well, here in Pittsburgh, the lights have turned down. The Cinderella team that doesn't want to be called a Cinderella on one side of the floor. And, of course, North Carolina State, the hottest team in the country, coming into the tournament on the other side of the floor. Their head coach, Kevin Keats, got an opportunity to get a gander at what the opposition, and especially Jack Golke, was doing the other night. He understands that they're facing a lot of momentum tonight. We got Garda, man. I mean, I've, I've never seen a shooting performance like that in my life. And I was in the locker room. I didn't watch it. But when I got home after the game, I popped it in. And after I seen him make four or five, I turned it off. I was like, man, this guy is in the zone. Crazy thing about it is he's not even the leading scorer on the entire team. So you know they're capable of playing better. It will be a great story. You're right. There are going to be a, a lot of people cheering for him. Hopefully we got enough people cheering for DJ Burns where we can keep, kind of balance it off a little bit. Now time now for Jordan Cornette's Keys to the Game, sponsored by the members of the National Association of Realtors. There's a lot to buying a home, negotiations, inspections, timelines. Realtors have the expertise to guide you through the process. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. All right, you got two teams that most people didn't expect to see next weekend in the Sweet 16. How does one of them get there? Scott, good place to start coming off Coach Keats is right there. The guy who's talking about Jack Golke, they must have a red awareness of a guy who hit 10 threes and scored 32 points in the first round. you got to run him off the three-point line, make him not the type of factor he was first go-round. Offensively for the pack, activate D.J. Burns down low. His physicality can create fatigue for the opposition's interior. Let him bang a little bit, even if he can't convert. Him getting touches, him getting acclimated is key to activate their offense. For Oakland, be ready to compete in the trenches, and I mean that defensively. 42 points in the paint for the pack in round one, 13 second chance points. A lot of breakdown from their guards trying to get at the rim. They have to be tough. They have to provide that resistance down low, bend but don't break mentality. And then finally, perimeter defense for Oakland. They have to keep these guards in front. These guards like to do a lot in isolation, get past the first line of defense, and dish it to open guys where the defense is vulnerable. Those guards must be disciplined, keeping guys in front, making them meet a chest. So let's check the starting lineup sponsored by Cintas. Workdays are better when you partner with Cintas. Keep your team protected, prepared, and looking great. Visit Cintas.com and get ready for the workday. Oakland from the Horizon League, 24 and 11. Chris Conway, senior 6'9", 221, out of Naperville, Illinois. Trey Townsend, senior 6'6", 228, out of Oxford, Michigan, averaging almost 17 points and eight rebounds per game. Isaiah Jones, sophomore out of Nashville, Tennessee, 6'7", 213. DQ Cole, who hit a huge three-pointer the other night to help put that game away against Kentucky, a junior 6'3", 189, out of Pontiac, Michigan. And Blake Lampin, grad student 6'3", 184, out of Hazlitt, Michigan, averaging almost 13 points a game. Greg Campy is the head coach, 40th season on the sideline here. If he wins tonight, it'll be his 700th career win. For NC State, out of the ACC, 23-14 and 14 on the year. It's D.J. Horn, grad student 6'2", 180, out of Rolling, North Carolina. Michael O'Connell, grad student 6'2", 195, out of Mineola, New York. Casey Morcel, grad student 6'3", 200 out of Fort Washington, Maryland. Mohamed Diara, he's been on a hot streak. Junior 6'10", 215 out of France. And big DJ Burns, grad student 6'9", 275 from Rock Hill, South Carolina. The head coach is Kevin Keats. In his seventh season, won his first NCAA tournament game ever here the other night. He has won 136 games at North Carolina State, 208 in his coaching career. The officials, Ray Natili, Byron Jarrett, and Greg Nixon. It's time for the opening tip-off, sponsored by Progressive. Protect your home and auto. Save when you bundle. Get a quote at Progressive.com. I was joking with you yesterday, when you're the 11th seat, you don't expect to be packing your white uniforms for the trip, but NC State is in the home whites with the red and black trim. Oakland in the traveling black with the gold trim. 
We are ready to go and underway at around a 32 as Oakland controls the tap moving from our left over to our right Townsend handling early out of the gates trying to get their start going. He's gonna challenge Diara playing point guard and right to start Swing it around the arc Isaiah Jones now gets back to Lampman head of the circle and Lampman Dribbling over toward the sideline, bothered there by Horn, fires a three, it's short, and the long rebound comes out. Looking to run now is Michael O'Connell, slides it ahead to Horst, and a scoop play in is good. Momentum takes O'Connell along with the rebound right across the timeline. Horn gets out ahead of the defense, fills the right lane, bounce pass seamlessly for a layup. 2 nothing NC State. Lampman takes a handoff up on top, tries left side, nothing there. Now Townsend will drive into the lane, spinning, stopping, firing on a fadeaway. It's short, and Diarro with the last down for NC State. Diarro's length is going to be a challenge for Townsend to fi finish over the top of long, wiry, big, who has a physicality of his own on the opposition. D.J. Horn holds in the right corner against this matchup zone defense for Diarro. Now fires to the baseline. But an errant pass as he was trying to get it to D.J. Burns, and it's a turnover as it skitters over the end line. Had a little bit too much on the pass in such close quarters, and it kind of like a short hop that Burns was unable to handle. 2-0 NC State, just over a minute into this ball game. The winner goes on to Dallas next week in the South region. Here's Cole, left side, foul line extended. Dropping it down on the box for Conway. Conway waits for a cutter. Once again, it's Lampman on the outside. Back to Conway inside. Wants to dish it off and finally does. Here's Cole on the outside. Shot clock at four. Three-pointer short. Rebound down to Diarra. And here comes the Wolf Pack again. Horn driving. Shot with the left hand. No good. Tap. Rebound controlled by Oakland. Horn in attack mode. Anytime he gets that basketball, he's out with a jolt. Trying to get to the rim and get at this defense. Oakland started slow against Kentucky. They're 0 for 3 now in the first two minutes of this one. Townsend, head of the circle, bothered by Diara, shoves him out of the way and drives down the lane. And now the second hit is going to be the foul. It was Townsend who used his arm to create space, but then Diara commits the foul on the drive, his first. NC State trying to play at a fast pace. They're trying to get it off misses. And really go. Oakland has to make a concerted effort getting back defensively. Off the inbound, Townsend goes to work, gets it to Cole up on top. Cole driving, stops at the foul line. Far side of the floor, it's Jones. Now he shovels down to the block. Going to work is Conway. Up and under, his shot is good. First points of the ball game for Oakland. Conway longer than Burns and certainly quicker trying to use that speed as advantage Get into the baseline ahead of Burns and able to finish over top 2-2 two -two ball game two and a half minutes in here's Horn Oakland showing that zone He'll pop a three and Horn right over the top of that zone Buries the three-pointer from left to the top of the circle coach can't be not happy with Lampman Lampman, excuse me hoping he'd extend out to contest he didn't Horn made him pay from beyond the arc 5-2 ball game. Remember, Golfi is the sixth man. We've yet to see him for Oakland. Conway spinning in the lane. His shot short right into the front of the rim. And another rebound for Diara. NC State a three-point lead in the basketball. And now O'Connell loses the handle on the way down the floor. It's a held ball. The possession will still belong to NC State. Scott, I'm going to tell you, on that other end, with that offering from Conway in the lane, there was a foul not called on Burns. Hear the roar? Guess who just checked in? Jack Golke. He replaces Isaiah Jones. It took just a little over three minutes to get him into the ball game after his magical performance the other night. As if this game wasn't fascinating enough with the Sweet 16 birth on the line. You've got two of the most intriguing guys in this tournament on the floor, DJ Burns and now Jack Golke. On the outside, it's Horn. Thought about a three. Comes back near side from O'Connell. Back to Horn again. Driving to the right side of the lane. And a floating one-hander is good. D.J. Horn's got seven points, all of them for NC State. Seven to two. Wolf back on top. 16-20 to go here in the first half. Cole gets it to Townsend. Up in the high post. Driving down low now. And ball knocked away from him by Diara. 
It's going to stay Oakland's way with 14 left of the shot clock. Townsend certainly trying to challenge DR in the interior. DR has been very stout, very sturdy. I'm kind of surprised he's checking out in this game as a good to Middlebrooks, and it's probably because Middlebrooks had 21 in that first round win. They want to get him in early, but they are doing the job defensively in the first few minutes of this contest. Rocket Watts has also replaced Blake Lampman. Shot clock at 10 now. Watts with the ball in his hand up on top. Gets it off to Cole. DQ Cole. Near, near the foul line on the right side. Fires left side. Townsend three. No good. And the rebound down to Horde. Every shot from the outside for Oakland has hit the short. Light button. Come on, hit the like button. That's Here's Hard too. dribbling up on top of the five-point lead in the basketball. Up in the high post, it's DJ Burns. Gets it to Horn, sets the screen. Horn, the hot hand, dumps it down to Burns. The left-hander shot is up and good. It's 9-2 to NC State. They've made four out of five from the floor. Horn as the or Burns is the dive guy, able to bury Cole, and that's just a mismatch. High IQ to understand Horn needed to get into his big to win. Rocket Watts driving along the baseline. Can't hit, but Conway there for the putback as he slams it home. Burns got caught standing up watching. Didn't locate the block out, much to the ire of his head coach, Kevin Keats, on the sideline. 9-4, NC State almost five minutes into this round of 32 game here in Pittsburgh. Far side of the floor. Three-pointer is an air ball for Morcell. Burns saves, though, and here's Middlebrooks underneath the basket. Back out to O'Connell. They'll reset it up on top now with Horn. DJ Horn, another three. That one is no good. And a rebound down to Jack Golke. Oakland into the forecourt now. They're trying to deny Golke the basketball. They've done a good job so far. Here's Watts driving to the baseline. Nothing there. Back out to Golke. Catch. Set. Three-pointer. Go! Pick it up right where he left off. Because of the high sensitivity and urgency to defend him, Golke's using a head fake. It gets the defense erratic, and then he's able to take a composed dribble and a very clean look. Nine to seven, our score now. Almost six full minutes in. Middlebrook shovels back behind for Horn. Back to Middlebrook's on the baseline. Driving to the left baseline, and he has his shot knocked away by Conway. But a whistle and a foul call. Jones hit him down low. There's going to be free throws coming for Ben Middlebrooks when we come back. Timeout on the floor with 13.59 to go here in the first half of play. It's NC State 9, Oakland 7. For the Westwood 1 NCAA Radio Network, this is the Men's Basketball Tournament. Drink quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up spills quicker. And each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less than the leading ordinary brand. So you can get back to your night. Bounty, the quicker picker upper. The Masters is on Sirius XM. Yes, sir! In the tournament's long and storied history, only three men have defended their title. Jack Nicklaus finishes in great style. 1990 Masters champion Nick Fowler. The year of the Tiger again at Augusta. Could John Rahm become the fourth? Never thought I was going to cry when I was in a golf tournament, but I got very close. Listen to coverage of the Masters tournament beginning Monday, April 8th on Masters Radio on Sirius XM. Progressive presents Renters MVP's Most Valuable Possessions. Today's MVP, Tom Kelly's Carbon Fiber Mountain Bike. Because more than riding his Carbon Fiber Mountain Bike, Tom loves telling people about his Carbon Fiber Mountain Bike. Friends, family, even a local barista knows about his Carbon Fiber Mountain Bike. And that's why Tom's Carbon Fiber Mountain Bike, if you haven't heard about it, is today's MVP. Keep your most valuable possessions protected by bundling your renters and auto insurance with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. The big dance is here. The NCAA Men's Division I Basketball Championship returns on March 19th. And this year, select games are streaming on max. No matter where you are, you can stream the biggest moments on and off the court from busted brackets to the gut-wrenching upsets and the magical Cinderella stories. Follow the whole tournament and don't miss the Final Four streaming on max April 6th and 8th. NC State 9, Oakland 7, 13.59 to go till halftime. Time for the Coles back to the game. Take a look at Jack Olke. 
He came into this game tonight with just eight two-point attempts all season. Meanwhile, 347 shots from beyond the arc, and he's one for one tonight. That's the fact of the game, sponsored by Coles. It's a new season at Coles. Find fresh everyday styles for you and your home at great prices. Shop Coles and Coles.com today. We talked about it being more than Jack Olkey for this Oakland team. And, Scott, without question, there is more to this team. But this building took on a different energy for the basket from Golki as opposed to any other basket scored in this game. He is he, he just he's going to be infectious for his team, too, because when you see that three-point shot is carrying over to this game, you all of a sudden feel like, okay, our team is at full strength right now. Ben Middlebrooks at the free throw line misses on the first. Correction, the foul call before the break was on DQ Cole. Middlebrooks coming off a career night the other night. 21 points off the bench. And the victory over Texas Tech. His second one is good. His uncle Danny Cannell, the former Florida State and NFL quarterback, is about seven rows back of the NC State bench. 10-7 our score. NC State on top. Open was one for their first eight. They've hit their last two. Now a set coming out of the timeout with Watts looking to find Golke. Instead gets it to Townsend. Conway holds at the foul line. Back to Townsend driving down right side of the lane. Lost the basketball, but a whistle and a foul call. And that is on Middlebrooks for a push in the back, his first. Middlebrooks kind of sagging off Townsend, who catches that ball at the left wing. And that gave Townsend the opportunity to kind of power up with momentum to dribble drive left to right on the lane and draw the whistle. Watts, trouble getting it in, and that's going to be a five-second call. You don't see them often, but he had nowhere to go with the basketball. Greg Campy is not happy with his point guard right now. The release foul has to be Cole at the top of the key, extending out past the timeline to be a receiver. Did it too late. NC State with a basketball and a three-point lead. Middlebrooks driving in the lane, spinning up, under, shot. No good. Great defense by Conway, but Middlebrooks got the tip rebound. Back outside to Jaden Taylor. Down in the corner now for Morsell. Morsell into the lane. Shot up and good. Good body control as he invited some contact. It's 12 7 NC State. Against the zone, playing with good pace. Got into the teeth of the defense, looked to reverse. The defense thought he was going to do that. Then a gap opened up for him to spin and lay in. Rocket Watts bothered on the outside by Jaden Taylor. Now shovels it off for Townsend. Hands for Golke. Golke trying to get a three-pointer. Doesn't get it. It's dead back to Townsend. Driving down the lane. His shot is good over Middlebrooks. Difficult angle to finish for Townsend there over that left shoulder with the length of Middlebrooks. And somehow, some way, he found an opportunity to get it off the glass. It's interesting. They're forcing right now NC State not into a double team because they're putting Golke and Townsend on the same side of the floor. Back the other way. Morsell spinning into the lane. Shot no good. Golke tried for the rebound, but Middlebrooks down with it. Can't get his shot to go, but got the rebound. And now the ball knocked out of bounds off the rebound, and it'll stay the same way. Middlebrooks has been unrelenting on the backboard, chasing his misses. He's point-blank range, and I'm sure he's frustrated because he can't seem to complete these right, and he's right there. NC State already a 9-4 rebounding advantage, and they bring the big man, D.J. Burns, back in. Naval LaRua checks into the ball game at 6-6. At least a little bit more size for a much smaller Oakland team. Off the inbound, Burns goes to work on Townsend. On the right baseline, driving, dishing, Diara. Two-fisted jam. They double-teamed, and Diara was wide open. Burns a couple feet off that block on the right side, drew the double-team, and Burns is as gifted a passer in the post as you'll find in this tournament. Diara just runs the opposite block, makes himself available as a receiver, and it's an easy deuce. Five-point ball game. On the left side, it's Watts. Bouncing down. Naval LaRue takes into the lane, throws back out again. Shot clock at five. Here comes Watts from the right side. Driving into the lane. Fadeaway jumper is short. And the rebound down to Jaden Taylor for NC State. Fires it ahead. And now D.J. Horn to work up on top. Using a screen. Bounces it to Burns. Right elbow. Come back to the near side. O'Connell a three, and he got it. Michael O'Connell splashes down from three-point land. 
And it's an eight-point lead now for NC State. Starts with a swing pass from Burns to Diara. Diara had a look, an okay look, but they had a great look on the extra pass. O'Connell, shoulder square, delivers from distance. Lampman crosses over on the dribble. Left side three, a line drive. Three-pointer is good. Perhaps that'll get him started. A 17-12 ball game now. And they're going to need some other contributors. Lampman has been one all season long. He's yet to truly come alive in this tournament. Could that open him up? Stand by. Burns holds right elbow. Now into the lane. Has the ball nearly taken away. But throws back to the top. And burying a three is Jaden Taylor. The strength of Burns as two guys tried to wrestle it away. He held on to the ball and got the assist. Scott, a lesser man, turns that basketball over, boy, and it's in the paws of the big, bad DJ Burns. No shot. 20-12, to 12, NC State. Coming up on the halfway point of this first half. Watts dribbles along the outside. Gets it to Lampman on the far side. His three-pointer on the way. That one is good. We told you he could get hot. He's a 37% three-point shooter. Gets it back down to a five-point game. Two highly contested looks on consecutive possessions. Hand in his face, and Lampman delivers. Here's O'Connell. Around the screen, far side of the floor. Jaden Taylor picked up the dribble, comes to O'Connell near side. Now for Burns, left of the lane. Fading jumper off the glass and good. Big smile on his face as he looks over at the NC State fans, or more accurately, the Oakland fans will come down the floor. 22-15. And now a whistle as Horn was trying to upset the apple cart just inside half court. He's going to get called for a foul. It's going to bring us to a timeout. Breaking the action with 929 left to go in the first half. It's NC State 22, Oakland 15. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Getting ready to take on spring? Make your first move with steel battery tools. Right now, save $50 on the RMA 460V lawnmower battery set. Real steel. Find yours at steelusa.com. With AK-30 battery and AL-101 charger. Offer valid for a limited time only. Participating dealers while supplies last. Something amazing is happening. Data is powering insights and innovation. Network security has cyber attacks playing defense. Devices are improving the quality of work and the quality of life. That's what happens when you partner with CDW. Our experts help you get the most from your technology. We work with you to plan it, build it at scale, and manage it so you can do amazing things. CDW, make amazing happen. Learn more at CDW.com. At Progressive, we know money can't buy you happiness, but money did help you buy an RV, which means an excuse from working Saturday with your insufferable coworker, Dave. So money is helping you listen to birds chirp instead of Dave chirping about how his toddler is fluent in three languages. And it's also why you'll be smelling pine trees in the air, not Dave's tuna melt reheating in a microwave. So save money by bundling your RV or boat insurance with Home or Auto from Progressive and buy more happiness or something close to it. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Need a little help? O'Reilly Auto Parts can help. Need advice? We've got advice. No matter what you need, we have thousands of professional parts people doing their part to make sure you have it. Exceptional customer service. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Feeling great starts with a great shave and great shave start with Barbasol Shaving Cream. That's Barbasol Shaving Cream, an American classic for over 100 years. Close Shave America, Close Shave Barbasol. Barbasol. Brad Heller back in the Verizon studios in Los Angeles. Get the network you can rely on for your phone and your home internet and save. Find the plan that's right for you. At Verizon.com. North Carolina, 7 nothing run. The Tar Heels lead Michigan State by 8, 69, excuse me, by 12, 69, 57 with six minutes to go. Meanwhile, Iowa State on a 14-2 run. The Cyclones lead Washington State 33-29. They are two minutes into the second half. To hear both games live, WestwoodOneSports.com, also the Varsity Network app and Sirius XM, Gonzaga and Arizona, the first two to punch their tickets to the Sweet 16. Back to Pittsburgh, Scott Graham and Jordan Cornett. Let's check the schedule of tournament games coming up on Westwood One, sponsored by Duluth Trading Company. 
Blue Trading Company stacks your starting lineup with higher performance gear all year round. Plus, keeps all your zones covered and comfy. Online or in store, get into Duluth today. Up next, we've got Creighton and Oregon. Another intriguing ball game. That one in the Midwest region. Here in the South region, it is NC State 22, Oakland 15 with 929 left to go in the first half. Scott, NC State playing nearly a perfect game offensively. Seven assists on nine field goals, shoot 56% and 60% from beyond the arc. Tone Hunter is checked into the ball game out of the timeout for Oakland. He drives with the basketball to the right block. Now kicks it back out to Townsend. Townsend in the lane, spinning. Shot up and good. Great move over Diara. It's a 22-17 game. Drove left, drop step, reverse, rip through with the basketball to get the defense shifty and finishes over the left shoulder with the dominant right hand. Wolf pack four of their last four. Burns, the guy who's had the last assist on three of the last four, hits from inside. A little jump hook shot of the lane. Good position. Boy, can he create space. 24-17 NC State. And active without the basketball, flashing from one block towards the other ball side to make himself a receiver, catch and go up with it quickly. Townsend goes to work on Diara, picks up the dribble, now Lampman outside, a three too strong, and the long rebound falls into the hands of Casey Morsell. NC State across with the basketball, leading it by seven. Michael O'Connell, the dribble just inside half court, Trying to set up a screen from Burns. He gets one. Now throws down toward the baseline for Diara. Back out to O'Connell. Three-pointer no good. And the rebound, an easy one for Jack Golke for Oakland. Here come the Golden Grizzlies. Townsend driving through and under the basket. Finds Golke. Contested three on the way. Shot no good. And the rebound down to Diara. Morcel got a hand right in his face. They go quickly back the other way. It's a much different defender Morcel on him this evening. On the turnaround, Jaden Taylor makes it a nine-point NC State lead. Taylor's got five. Biggest lead of the ball game so far for the Wolfpack. And 16 of their points are in the paint. I didn't. I didn't take it off. Oka trying to push the pace now. 7.24 left to go here. A little in the hot, I'll take it out. Conway spinning underneath. Oh, got a left-handed shot up and good. That was improvisation after he left his feet, shooting over D.J. Burns. Didn't get rushed with the shot clock winding down. Got into his move and felt confident playing off two to elevate over Burns, who lives life below the rim. O'Connell skipped past to the corner. On the right side, Taylor, a three, no good. Golke over the top of big D.J. Burns for the rebound. Oakland down by seven with the ball. Golke wants a three. Golke got a three. From up on top, Jack Golke hits his second and gets Oakland back to within four. Such a good job on the initial catch from Golke to get the defender in the air, thinking he's going up the first time. They kind of try to block the shot. He takes a controlled dribble and steps into the three. He's done it twice this evening. Morcell driving to the right elbow. Now shovels it down to Burns right in the lane. Burns throws through. Morcell driving into the lane. One-handed shot up. No good. On tap rebound is out of bounds and it last touched NC State. Ball goes back to Oakland when we come back. Six minutes, 17 seconds left to go here in the first half. It's North Carolina State 26, Oakland 22. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Jeff, I'm standing courtside where this team is about to celebrate a staggering win here in the fourth quarter. I just spoke with the team captain, who told me they owe it all to Kohl's, where fans found the license gear, game day hosting fines, and other essentials they needed to rally this team to victory. He said, quote, great brands, great prices. Discover it all at Kohl's and Kohl's.com. Back to you. Great looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants, to polos and khakis, to oxfords or t-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. 
Prince NCAA Championship time. Fans of the hustle, Prince. fans of the heart, Prince. fans of the flash, grit, and grind. Prince. The best fans in the lands are bringing everything they got for their team. Be there when your squad hoists the ultimate trophy overhead. The NCAA Championships. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Class dismissed. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, For the ones who get it done. You can listen to the live stream of every game of the NCAA Men's Tournament right here on Westwood One, sponsored by Wendy's. Get a Dave's single for just a dollar and a Dave's double for just two bucks. The offer is in the Wendy's app. Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer of participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in Wendy's app. Count registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for details. 6.17 to go first half. Four-point lead for NC State, 26-22. Right now, the opportunity for Oakland to transition and move a little bit, get Golke the opportunity to get a, take advantage of a defense that's a little shifty. That's where he's finding his threes. In a half-court setting with Casey Morsell on him, he's not finding daylight. So it's going to start with Oakland being able to get stops to allow them to begin to get those runouts to free up their great shooter, and they were able to their last sequence. You take a look at what NC State is doing and obviously working it along the inside. And then if it's inside back out again, that's kind of what we thought we were going to end up seeing out of this NC State team based upon that size advantage they have along the inside. And it's worked. I mean, they like playing through D.J. Burns because he's such a gifted passer. And in the zone, it could be, like you mentioned, Scott, a few guys. It could be Diara. It can be Middlebrooks when he's in the game. The way to beat a zone is dribble penetration, the mid post, or playing inside out. And NC State, with their ball movement, has found good looks time and time again in this first half. Lampman inbounds to Golke. Some full-court pressure, token pressure from NC State. Now they get it into the hands of Tone Hunter, who dribbles across half-court. Four-point game coming up on six minutes left to go here in the first half. Lampman, left side, foul line extended, up on top for Conway. One touch for Townsend, and now near side for Hunter. Hunter drops it down for Townsend. And down on the right block, his shot is no good. Contested by Niara. The rebound comes down to NC State. Niara just allowed his length to do the work. Knew he couldn't block the shot, but certainly altered it. Niara now driving, and his shot is up and good. He actually made an athletic move to get over a downed defender and get that finger roll to go. Hunter hit the deck, almost undercut him. And now, ball touched. Out of bounds by NC State as Townsend was driving the baseline. Did hit the like button? So it'll stay Oakland's like way. And subscribe they to will get DQ Cole back in the ball game, and Tone Hunter takes the seat. 28-22, NC State on top. 5:31 to go till halftime. The inbound is to Townsend. Head of the circle, leaves back behind now for Cole. He'll start the offense. Driving to the left elbow. Left corner, Conway jumper up from 17, no good. Diara another rebound for NC State. Here's O'Connell across half court for the Wolfpack. Gets it to Diara, a three, no good from the left side, and another rebound for Jack Golke. Diara's capable, Diara's capable from three, but it's so early in the offense, they've worked better stuff. Need to be more patient. Golke wants another three, and he got one. One giant leap around his screen, and a fadeaway three-pointer makes this a three-point game. You can't lose sight of Golke when the ball is in one of his teammates' hands. That's when he strikes, cuts across to make himself available catch and the release is so quick here's horn left side trying to match he can't the rebound though down to burns burns fires inside diara couldn't hit the easy look got his own rebound couldn't hit that one and now the ball knocked out of bounds and it's going to go back the other way to oakland diara getting too cute with it ball ended up being a 50 50 up in the air in midair he tried to catch and go up with it rather than gather the 50 50 come down playoff two dunk finish and it was that overthinking that caused the miss
Confidence bubbling up once again from this Oakland team and their fans as they bring it across, can get within one or tie on this possession. Townsend will operate the offense from the top. Hands it off for Cole. Now Goki wanted the three, wouldn't get it. Creates one anyway, shot no good from way outside, and Horn down with the rebound. Horn gets it inside to Middlebrooks. Middlebrooks thought about going, but instead shovels back to Horn. Right side three, no good. Cole, an uncontested rebound for Oakland. They slide it ahead to Lampton. He wants a three. That shot way too strong. Never touched the rim. And the rebound again down to NC State. Oakland 5 for 12 from beyond the arc. NC State is 3 for 10. Middlebrooks on the right side, working on Burns. Burns shot no good, but the rebound again down to NC State. They'll get another try. Middlebrooks inside, bullies his way in. Shot no good. And this time, Goki the rebound for Oakland. A lot of missed slams for the Wolfpack. Seven straight misses overall for North Carolina State. Lampman a three from the top. Shot no good. Middlebrooks the rebound for NC State. Here comes Taylor driving left baseline. And there's going to be a foul call on Townsend. That'll be his first. And that'll bring us to a timeout on the floor. Good shots have been hard to come by here in the first half on both sides. Breaking the action with 3.10 to go till the halftime break. It's 28-25, NC State on top. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Dude Wipes presents Bathe Your Bum. <clears throat> While TP may appear to clear your rear, it actually leaves behind dry Philly gifts clinging inside your rump's rounded rift. There's no bigger bummer than a bee crack that's whack. You need extra large wet strength for an effective attack. To fully wash stains, stinkies, crispies, and crumbs, it's time to ditch the dry paper and bathe your bum bum. Your dump didn't deserve it so plump and so round. Use wet flushable dude wipes for the best clean. Pants down. Progressive presents Renters MVP's Most Valuable Possessions. Today's MVP, Emily Neal's 70-inch TV. Because after watching her second grade students yell at each other for hours, there's nothing Emily enjoys more more than watching super rich housewives also yell at each other. Why? Because those women are not her responsibility. And that's why her TV is today's MVP. Keep your most valuable possessions protected by bundling your renters and auto insurance with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. Save big during MVP's bonus days at Lowe's with limited time deals on everything you need. Right now, buy one select DeWalt 20-volt max tool. Get one DeWalt 20-volt max power stack battery two-pack free, a $179 value. Plus, save $20 on a select bucket of deck plus wood screws. Find these deals and more in-store and online today. Because Lowe's knows savings. Lowe's knows pros. Valid 318 through 329. While supplies last. Selection varies by location. What companies deserve your hard-earned dollar? Which would you want to work for? How can you know if they share your values? Just ask us. Just Capital is a nonprofit that tracks who really means business, supporting workers, customers, communities, the environment, and shareholders. We measure progress, track success, and help them be better. When you see the Just Capital seal, you know what's real, because just business is better business. Visit JustCapital.com to learn who makes your dollar count. Stay with us for the Wendy's NCAA Tournament Halftime Report. We'll check the tournament scoreboard, and we'll talk to Oregon head coach Dana Altman. That's coming over the half, sponsored by Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. 3-10 to go till halftime. We've got a three-point game. NC State on top of Oakland, 28-25. Golke's hit a couple of those threes to re-energize his group and cut into this deficit. This game's been aesthetically pleasing, and a big, big reason why when you look at the stats. A combined two turnovers in this game, each team with only one. So a big stage. Still, these teams are executing, playing at a high level, and playing within themselves, which makes for fun back and forth in this first half. We welcome those of you just joining us across our network. Inbound of the basketball now for NC State. 3-10 to go first half. They lead 28-25. And off the inbound, Cole almost got a steal. He went high over the top of Middlebrooks. His foot hit Middlebrooks' head, and Cole went sprawling to the ground. And I guess the foul call is going to be on Middlebrooks. I'll tell you what, 
Talk about adding insult to injury. Never seen a young man go down that hard and jump up so quickly to contest with the officials. <laughs> What's the call? He ended up getting the call, but I don't know if that was a warranted a whistle period in that sequence. Teams are a combined two for their last 15 from the floor as Oakland brings it down. It's Townsend on the left block going to work on Diara. Spinning, one-handed shot is good. Oakland within one now, 28-27, a 10-2 run for the Golden Grizzlies. Scott, it's a good thing that Oakland hasn't fallen in love with the three-point shot and have remembered that playing down low through Townsend can be very effective, and it was there. D.J. Horn, nearly a catch and shoot, now goes inside to Burns. Spinning shot for the big man, no good, and Golke another rebound for Oakland. Here come the Golden Grizzlies, trying for the lead. Watts inside half court. Bothered by O'Connell. Gets it to Cole. Now up top of the circle is Conway. Conway finds Golke. Around his screen. Throws back behind. Conway the three. That shot no good. Diara's got the rebound for NC State. Pack ran to it. Golke. Golke astutely kicks it over. Conway had an easy look from three. But Conway should have explored driving the gap. What had an easy dunk. O'Connell inside, half court, comes back to the near side. It's D.J. Horn. Horn fires to the near side. Three-pointer on the way. That one is no good again for Diara. And with 1.45 to go in the half, again an opportunity for Oakland to take the lead. Down 28-27. It's Godwin on the block. Back out to Golke. Golke's three-pointer is blocked. Jaden Taylor got a hand on it. It never made it to the basket. And Oakland down with 90 seconds to go. Back on defense now. NC State with the ball. It's Diara in the lane. Drop step. Shot up and good. Got right around Conway. Barry Conway did Diara on that low block. So by the time he caught, he had already won the 1v1 on the block. That was NC State's first points in more than four minutes. They lead by three again, 30 to 27. Watts, bounce pass down low. And Townsend shot no good over Diara. It tickled the rim and fell away. Back we come the other way. Taylor running one-hander. Terrible shot. Never touched the rim. And the rebound down to Oakland. Oh. Under a minute to play in the half. There's Townsend to Golke. Bounces back to Townsend. Fake the three. Drive down right in the lane. Navigating the two big men. His fadeaway shot is short. And Diara corrals the rebound for NC State. 33 seconds left to go in the half. NC State by three with the basketball. It's Horn. Inside half court. Down to the corner to Diara. Now inside it's Burns. And high off the glass, D.J. Burns banks it home. 32-27 Wolfpack. Oakland holding for what should be the last shot of the half now. Ten seconds to go. And a use it or lose it timeout to set it up for Greg Campy. So breaking the action with our score. NC State 32, Oakland 27. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. It's a mystery where Old Spice finds its amazing scents like Himalayan sea salt, but I'm thrilled they have because no other body wash exfoliates and moisturizes 24-7 like Old Spice Gentleman's Himalayan sea salt body wash. Now, if only there was a mountain range separating the Indian subcontinent from the Tibetan plateau where I could hide my Old Spice and keep my family from stealing it, my impossibly smooth skin will finally be safe. Great-looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants, to polos and khakis, to oxfords or t-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. Finding quality candidates for your small business is no Little League game, but Indeed can help you cover all your hiring bases. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and hire quality candidates. And they don't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. Nix the hassle. Start hiring. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to expand your team today. 
There are any number of reasons you might consider selling your home. To move closer to family, live within a smaller budget, or just wanting a change of scenery. Whatever your reasons, having to figure out all the various housing market trends in your area may not be what you signed up for. That's where an agent who is a Realtor comes in. Realtors have the expertise to help you find the right price and navigate the process to sell your home in a way that's right for you. That's who we are. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. Download the official NCAA March Madness live app, and you can listen to every Westwood One broadcast of the men's basketball tournament for free. Just look for the headphones icon on any live game, and if you're in the car, it seamlessly integrates with Apple CarPlay or Android Audio. Or Android Auto. Get the official NCAA March Madness live app today. 10.6 seconds left of the first half. NC State by 5, 32-27. Certainly in the Wolfpack timeout huddle, they're talking about high awareness of goalkeeping. Oakland certainly thinks that the Pack are worried about goalkeeping. So look for a decoy look for Townsend to get a touch, Lampman to get a three-point touch. I do believe goalkey is the desired play, but they're certainly going to have other influences here if the Pack have all their focus on Jack Oakey. Jack Oakey keys the inbound from right in front of us with 10.6 left in the half. Gets it into Rocket Watts. Watts fouled on the play. NC State has fouls to give. That's only going to be their fifth. So don't be surprised to see them do it one more time. Yeah, and that's why you have pass in the game. Seven point eight seconds to go. Golki from the exact same spot on the floor. Gets it to Watts. Pass guarding him. Watts, three seconds to go. He's gonna have to go. His pull-up jumper is good right before the buzzer. He thinks he got hit as well, but he'll take the bucket from the right side, foul line extended. That gets Oakland back to within three. Watts liked the matchup versus pass. He spent the entire first half on the bench. Wasn't very warm. Certainly wasn't fit to move and defend against the shifty Watts against the mid-range. And that's big for this Oakland team coming out in the second half of the ball. Our halftime score, NC State 32, Oakland 29. When we return, we're going to head back to our studios for the Wendy's Halftime Report. From the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, this is the Men's Basketball Tournament. Opening day is coming. We can already hear the buzz in this ballpark. Get ready for the season with Sirius XM and MLB Network Radio. You'll hear every MLB game on Sirius XM, including your hometown announcers on the all-new Sirius XM app. Talk about the game on MLB Network Radio, the only 24-7 baseball channel on radio, Sirius XM 89, and the Sirius XM app. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate. Not one based on the driver who treats the highway like a racetrack and the shoulder like a passing lane. Why pay a rate based on anyone else? Get one based on you with DriveWise from Allstate. Not available in Alaska or California, subject to terms and conditions. Rates are determined by several factors, which vary by state. In some states, participation in DriveWise allows Allstate to use your driving data for purposes of rating. While in some states, your rate could increase with high-risk driving. Generally, safer drivers will save with DriveWise. Allstate Fire and Casualty Insurance Company in affiliates North Park, Illinois. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Even easier than choosing Charles Barkley in a pickup game. We'll take Barkley. Ha! First pick! Sorry, kids! Yep, even easier than that. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? Okay, here's the plan. Pass me the ball every time. This is banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com slash bank for details. Capital One and a member FDIC. All right, people, let's get this meeting started. Where are the chairs? Gone. Research shows standing meetings are quicker. What uh, research is that? Topic one. CDW helped us deploy Max Supercharged by Apple Silicon for the way we work now. So how's their speed? Fast. Battery life? Long. Cyber threat protection? Strong. Ownership costs? Low. Great. This meeting is... Adjourned. Wow, that was fast. Yep, that's the research. With Mac configured by CDW, a solution that works for everyone isn't just possible. It's powerful. Find out more at cdw.com slash getmac. Standing meetings are quicker. 
Welcome to the Wendy's NCAA Tournament Halftime Report. Get a Dave's Single for just a dollar and a Dave's Double for just two bucks with the offers in the Wendy's app. Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for details. Now, here's your host, Brad Heller. We've got a good one after 20 minutes in Pittsburgh. The 11 seed NC State leads the 14 seed Oakland 32 to 29. Jack Golke, who had those 10 three pointers in the win over Kentucky, he's got three so far for the Golden Grizzlies. Welcome inside our Westwood One studios in Los Angeles. Let's get to the scoreboard. North Carolina, Michigan State, the heavyweights meeting. In Charlotte, the Tar Heels were down by 12 in the first half. A huge run to close the half. They were up by 12 early in the second half. Michigan State made a run, but the Tar Heels are playing in North button? Carolina. Come so on, those the rims, Tar Heel friendly. Too. Hit ahead, Join Ingram. Family. Catch at the right wing. And now he slams on the brakes. High on the right. He fires a three. Around and around and around it goes and down. Finally, that ball spun on in. And a timeout, Michigan State. 69-57, UNC. 6-18 to go. We all waited for the deciding moment. It took forever. Jason Benetti on the call. It's a final. 85-69, North Carolina over Michigan State. The Tar Heels headed to a 31st Sweet 16. They are 14-1 all-time in tournament games in Charlotte. Iowa State, Washington State, the Cyclones missed their first nine shots from the field, but then they started to heat up. Lipsy now will bring it up for the Cyclones. Backs out on the right wing. Swing into the right corner. Curtis Jones, back right wing. Momchilovic for three. Milan Momchilovic, his first three. 45-37. Iowa State by eight. And a timeout. Washington State. Kevin Kugler on the call. Iowa State's up by 10 right now on Washington State. 56-46, under six minutes to go in the ball game. Arizona State, the two seed in the West, beat Dayton by 10. Wildcats are headed to the Sweet 16, second time in three years. Nine straight Sweet 16s for Gonzaga. They pulled away from Kansas in the second half. 89-68. The final score. That's the tournament scoreboard sponsored by Just Capital. Just Capital is a nonprofit that tracks which companies are a force for good. Companies like Bank of America, which just earned the prestigious Just Capital 2024 seal. Your halftime score, NC State leads Oakland 32 to 29. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, your home for the national championships. Three-point lead for NC State on Oakland, halftime in Pittsburgh. Coming up, an interview with Oregon head coach Dana Altman before his Ducks take on his former team, the Creighton Blue Jays. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. This March, Wendy's has some amazing deals on their hamburgers made with fresh, never-frozen beef. Like a juicy Dave single for a buck and a fresh $2 Dave's double with in-app offer. It's such a good deal, we wrote a little ditty about it. Get it for a buck. Dave single, Dave single, order the app. Dave single, Dave single, get it for a buck. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's official hamburger March Madness. Limited time offer, participating U.S. Wendy's. See offer details and redeem the Wendy's app. Account registration required. Fresh beef available in the contiguous U.S. and Alaska. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Keep your tires looking like new with superior coverall tire shine at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Our professional parts people can help you choose the right detailing supplies for your vehicle. And right now, get two bottles of superior coverall tire shine for just $18. See store for details. Stop by your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Progressive presents Renters MVP's Most Valuable Possessions. Today's MVP, Emily Neal's 70-inch TV. Because after watching her second-grade students yell at each other for hours, there's nothing Emily enjoys more than watching super-rich housewives also yell at each other. 
Why? Because those women are not her responsibility. And that's why her TV is today's MVP. Keep your most valuable possessions protected by bundling your renters and auto insurance with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. Where are my basketball fans at? Welcome to Fandom 101. The NCAA men's hoop season is here, meaning it's time for you to bring a little charisma and chaos for your squad. Be the sixth man in the stand. NCAA Division I men's basketball. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash MVP tickets. Class dismissed. Welcome back inside the Westwood One Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. It's halftime for NC State and Oakland in Pittsburgh. The second game at PPG Paints Arena jumps over to the Midwest region, the three-seed Creighton Blue Jays and the 11-seed Oregon Ducks. The Blue Jays picked up their largest tournament win in school history in round one, blowing out Akron by 17, while the story for Oregon on Thursday was Jermaine Kuznard's 40 points against his former team, South Carolina. Now, the big storyline today is Ducks head coach Dana Altman facing his former school, where he still sits at the, like the all-time Come wins on, list. The Before like the big button. reunion, Subscribe Coach Altman to. sat Join down with family. our Jordan Cornette. Coach, the program you face tonight, safe to say you have a little bit of familiarity with. 16 seasons on the sideline there, won a lot of games. What are the emotions for you on the sidelines? A lot of talk about the team, but for you facing a program that you had so many great moments with. Well, it, it's difficult. Uh, I don't know why the God dang committee did that to us, but, uh, you know, I've always thought of Creighton and I really respect the job Craig's done. I mean, uh, they've been fabulous here the last five years and, uh, you know, they've done a great job. So it's, it's a little different, but it's game's not about us, our coaching staff, a couple of Creighton guys on my coaching staff. Uh, it's about our players, you know, and I, I think Dante and Jermaine, those guys, they don't care if I was a Creighton or not. They <laughs> they care about the ball game. So it'll be a tough one for sure. Coach, how would you describe your relationship with Coach McDermott? Well, I know he's a lot better golfer than I am. Uh, he's proven <laughs> that on occasion. Uh, but, no, he's he's been wonderful to my family, you know, my dad and brother. We had these big luncheons when I was at Creighton, and Greg continued them, and uh you know, my family's all back in Nebraska, and uh, I think Oregon's won, but Creighton's definitely 1A. You know, they all follow Creighton and um, still love the program, go to the games. And uh, Greg's been unbelievable to my family, and uh, don't know how much. I hope he knows how much I appreciate that. Speaking of unbelievable, and Fale Dante, Jermaine Kuznard have been incredible in their own right, uh, most notably the 40-point performance in round one to get you here from Jermaine in that first round. Remarkable journeys for both of them just to get here. What has it meant for you to see your two stars shining when it's mattered most? Well, I'm really happy for both of them. You talk about two really good young men um, that, you know, their last go around, they want to make it count. And uh, they've got the freshman focus. They've got the whole team focused. Uh, it's their leadership that has gotten us here. Uh, throughout the conference tournament, we had to win it. They've done a great job. They've been our leaders, and I'm just really happy for them because I wanted both of them to experience this tournament, and they've had that opportunity, and they're taking advantage of it. Coach, let's talk about the game tonight. Final question here. As you lean into the matchup, what stands out to you in the challenge you face versus Creighton squad? Well, there's two challenges. How do we slow them down, and then how do we score against them? They're, defensively, their numbers are great, and with the big fella Ryan back there protecting the bucket, uh, it's tough to get to the basket. Uh, they do a good job of pushing out on shooters, so their defense is solid. They don't foul much. Uh, they just contest and, and make you hit shots. Coach, thanks for the time. Best of luck to you this evening. That's Coach Dana Altman. I'm Jordan Cornett. Now back to the Westwood One Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. All right, we'll send you back to the arena when we return. From the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, this is the Men's Basketball Tournament. The countdown to the 2024 NFL Draft is on Sirius XM NFL Radio. Caleb Williams, is there anything this guy can't do? Beginning April 25th, we're live in Detroit with pick-by-pick -pick coverage of all 32 teams. With the first pick, the Chicago Bears select. You'll hear expert analysis and exclusive interviews with the next generation of stars. I want to be a legend. I want to have a golden jacket. Get ready for the NFL Draft with Sirius XM NFL Radio Channel 88 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. 
Celebrate and save at Ashley's Anniversary Sale. With Hot Buys, your choice of color starting at just $3.99. Ashley Sleep Mattresses starting at $2.50. Plus, receive a free adjustable base with select mattress purchases. And shop top mattress brands like Stearns & Foster, Tempur-Pedic, Purple, and Beautyrest Black with 60-month special financing only at Ashley. Subject to credit approval. No minimum purchase required. Minimum monthly payment, down payment, tax, and delivery may be required. See store for details. Hi, my name is Alani. A little thing I like about the Spicy Deluxe Sandwich is that you taste the crunch, you taste the pepper jack cheese melting, and you taste the spicy flavors in the sandwich. I'm telling you, 10 out of 10. Hi, my name is Enrique. A little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's Spicy Deluxe Sandwich is you get that rich flavor of the chicken and definitely that nice, tangy, warm bite. It's the perfect harmony of spiciness and taste. Order the Spicy Deluxe Sandwich on the Chick-fil-A app today. Real guests paid for their testimonials. Dude Wipes presents Bathe Your Bum. <clears throat> While TP may appear to clear your rear, it actually leaves behind dry, pilly gifts clinging inside your rump's rounded rift. There's no bigger bummer than a bee crack that's whack. You need extra large wet strength for an effective attack. To fully wash stains, stinkies, crispies, and crumbs, it's time to ditch the dry paper and bathe your bum bum. Your dump dent deserves it so plump and so round. Use wet, flushable Dude Wipes for the best clean pants down. Thirty-two twenty-nine. NC State up at halftime. Jordan, you've lived this many times. Neither team is on the floor now. They've been in there a long time. How much adjusting is going on at halftime? Well, there's big adjustments that need to be made because both teams are executing at a high level. Uh, for this pack team, they, they want to do a better job on the three-point line. And for Oakland, they're, they're challenging their group to be tougher on the interior. Too much being given up on the inside. Empty floor in front of us right now. A lot of discussion going on in these locker rooms at halftime. This has been the Wendy's NCAA Tournament Halftime Report. Get a Dave's single for just a dollar and a Dave's double for just two bucks with the offers in the Wendy's app. Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer at participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for details. Our halftime score, NC State 32, Oakland 29. When we return, we'll have the start of the second half. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Progressive presents Renters MVP's Most Valuable Possessions. Today's MVP, Joe Fallon's Bedroom Mini Fridge. Sure, this pint-sized chiller's max capacity is three soda cans, but what it lacks in stature, it makes up in cooling strength. Each beverage, a perfect 37 degrees every time. And the two feet Joe walks to get a drink, priceless. That's why his mini fridge is today's MVP. Keep your most valuable possessions protected by bundling your renters and auto insurance with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. Now, during Staples Print Big Sale, get $20 off your print purchase of $100 or more, $50 off your print purchase of $200 or more, and $100 off your print purchase of $300 or more. So the more you print at Staples, the more you save. To demonstrate, print, print, print at Staples, you save, save, save. But if you print, 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 print at Staples, you save, 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 save. See how that works. Staples Print Big Sale. Print more, save more. Up to $100. Ends 4 6. Visit staples.com slash print for details. The problem with average underwear? The bench. The steam. And the sweat. The fix? Duluth Trading Buck Naked Underwear. Get Buck Naked, the most comfortable underwear there is. No bench, no stink, no sweat. Only at Duluth Trading. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Need a little help? O'Reilly Auto Parts can help. Need advice? We've got advice. No matter what you need, we have thousands of professional parts people doing their part to make sure you have it. Exceptional customer service. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. 
Westwood One presents Great Moments in Tournament History. April 4th, 1983, the finals in Albuquerque pitted the heavily favored Houston Cougars against Jim Valvato and NC State. Surprisingly, the Wolfpack controlled the tempo of the game and stayed close throughout. And with the score tied and time winding down, Derek Wittenberg launched a 35-foot air ball that was grabbed by teammate Lorenzo Charles, who slammed it home to give the Wolfpack a stunning 54-52 win. But the indelible image was after the shot, as a frenzied Jimmy V ran around the court looking for somebody to hug. That's what happens in college athletics, and it's a beautiful thing. There was a bunch of kids, you know, who uh, went out and beat one of the best basketball teams in the country. They might beat us 9 out of 10. They might beat us 99 out of 100. But today they didn't. With another great moment in tournament history, I'm Kevin Kugler. Here in Pittsburgh, alongside Jordan Cornette, Scott Graham with you, and we've got 20 minutes of basketball to play. NC State leading Oakland 32-29. to Take a look at first-half stats for these two teams. NC State shot 41%, Oakland 39%. But the Golden Grizzlies, just five made three-pointers in 15 tries. North Carolina State was three for 11 from three-point range. Other thing you got to keep an eye on, of course, in this type of a ball game is points in the paint. NC State has 20 of their 32 in that area. Oakland's got 12. And rebounding. Big advantage over the course of that first half for NC State over Oakland, 25 to 14 overall. Those are the halftime stats sponsored by Barbasol. Feeling great starts with a great shave. And great shave start with Barbasol shaving cream. For whatever your day brings, choose Barbasol. Barbasol, it's a can of can do. Leading scorer is Trey Townsend at six. Blake Lampman had six, but Jack Golke had nine. Three made three-pointers in that first half. Pretty good scoring distribution for NC State. Eight of them for D.J. Burns, seven for D.J. Horn, and Mohamed Diara with six points in that first half. The time now for Jordan Cornette's keys to the second half, sponsored by NetSuite. Now through April 15th, NetSuite is offering a one-of-a-kind flexible financing program. Head to NetSuite.com slash hoops right now. That's NetSuite.com slash hoops. If I'm the Wolfpack, it's really simple. Get right back to feeding DJ Burns. Wildly effective in that first half, four or six. Establish that he's our guy down low, and can you stop him? In the first four minutes, it's pivotal. Continue that offensive momentum for Oakland. Don't get too caught up in chasing three-point shots. It can get you out of who you are offensively and what your identity truly is. So work that thing around, get it down low to low post through Townsend, play inside out basketball. These two teams have been great so far, taking care of the basketball, making the proper reads. Don't get infatuated with the guy who's already hit those 10 threes in the first game and get going here a little bit in the second game. If you're not up on it, North Carolina State started out the season 4-0. and They were 13-4. and Then they went 4-10. and not a lot of people had high hopes for this team before they ran off five wins in five days, including beating North Carolina in the championship game of the ACC tournament for their first ACC championship since back in 1987. Meantime, Oakland started with the toughest, 15th toughest, I should say, non-conference slate. They had losses to Ohio State, Illinois, Michigan State, Dayton, and Drake, all tournament teams. Then you turn around and... They beat Xavier. They found out the other night they can compete with the big boys as they stood step for step and toe to toe with Kentucky. Now here they are within three at halftime with North Carolina State trying to earn a spot in the Sweet 16. Trying to find out which team's going to get the job done. The start of the second half sponsored by Indeed.com. Need to hire quality candidates fast? You need Indeed. Indeed's video interview tool makes it easy and effortless to meet with candidates. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Oakland has the ball to begin the second half. Wearing the traveling black with gold trim. NC State in the home white with the red and black trim. Townsend driving right baseline on first possession. Got it on the rim. Couldn't get it to fall. Got the rebound. Put back. Got stuffed by the rim. And the rebound comes down to NC State. Frankly, he was just too far under the basket. Here's O'Connell. Standing on the March Madness logo with the dribble alive. NC State setting it up. Morcell from the right elbow, drive, spins in the lane. His shot is up and good. Good spacing for the Wolfpack. Allowed Morcell to enter a gap without help side defense. Allowing to dive down in on him. Spacing allows for an easy one. Lampman for Oakland up on top for Townsend. 
He gets a touch just about every possession. Finding Golke right side. O'Connell gets there, so they shovel it down the to Dowson. He's down and close again. And again, misses it close, but this time he's fouled by Mo Diara. And Trey Townsend's going to the line to shoot two. Very clear early on, Oakland wants to feed their big Trey Townsend and get him back to going in this second half. Struggling to convert 3 of 11 now at this point in the game. Greg Campy talked to us yesterday about the fact that Townsend struggled early, ultimately came on against Kentucky. Later on, we'll select the coaching move of the day, sponsored by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Think O'Reilly Auto Parts for all your car care needs. Get the parts and service you need fast for the professional parts people at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oakland's first free throw of the game, and Townsend hits it, so 34-30 to 30 now. Early second half action here in Pittsburgh. D.J. Burns, three men around him. He throws back out of the triple team, and now they get it to Diara, far side of the floor. Driving it toward the paint, he slams it home. Love the decision from Diara, had the three-point look, got him in the air, a couple power dribbles in attack mode. Diara has eight. Back the other way, Conway, spin move, jumper, no good from the right side of the lane. D.J. Horn down with the rebound for NC State. Horn driving, pulls up, jumper, no good. And a rebound for D.Q. Cole for Oakland. Ahead for Townsend, left of the lane, into the lane, shot, up, good. There's no doubt where they're going early. Game started to pick up a little bit of pace now. Team's looking to run. Got to get back with a sense of urgency. Townsend's got nine, but just four out of 12 shooting. 36-32, NC State. Burns on the right block. It's a double team coming his way. Throws through for DR on the far side. Back to Burns. Now it's one-on-one, -on -one, and now it's a foul call on Conway who was hanging on for dear life as he picks up his first. Good recognition by Diara to go back to Burns with no double team. And this is an NC State very clear what their intentions are is we're going to dump it down low and we're going to see if you can compete with our bruising bigs leading the way, DJ Burns. Inbound for the near side baseline. O'Connell gets it into Burns. Now the big man to work up on top for Morcell. Far side, Horn, a three-pointer. Shot no good. Townsend, good position for the rebound for Oakland. Here's Townsend in the forecourt. Drives into the lane. Little one-handed shot up and good. That soft touch from in close. Starting to work for Trey Townsend. We've got a two-point ball game. Townsend, knowing he's going against the bigger, stronger Burns, is really trying to use that quick first step to get to the rim and finish and able to do so in that sequence. Orsell playing catch on the outside with O'Connell. Now a bounce pass down low to Burns, who's too low, and it results in a steal for Oakland. Golke a three, shot no good in transition, and Diara a quick rebound for NC State. Here's Morcell, and he'll wait for his teammates to arrive. They set the offense, 16.45 to go in a two-point ball game. NC State with the lead in the ball. Morcell. Left side of the lane for Burns. Burns spins toward the basket. Shot up and good. How do you stop that? Burns is so good. Feel the defense on his back and spinning off where he feels the most pressure to go opposite and finish. Back the other way. Conway taking it at Burns. Now throws through. And Cole, a three-pointer from the left side. No good. One-handed rebound down for Diara. Back the other way. Three-pointer. Good for Marcel. Right in front of his own bench, NC State leads it by seven. NC State continues to be at their best when they can get out in transition, finishing from all levels as Morcel getting the three ball going, a place he's been capable all season long. What a turn of events. Golke was shooting for the lead, and now his team is down by seven. Townsend on the left of the lane, two shot fakes. Now the shot up, good of the foul. That is a very savvy veteran player who just got the contact from Bo Diara and is going to get a chance at a three-point play when we come back. Townsend's got all the points for Oakland here in the second half. Our score, NC State 41, Oakland 36. For the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, this is the Men's Basketball Tournament. 
Just Capital is a nonprofit that tracks which companies are a force for good. Companies like Bank of America, which just earned the Just Capital seal. Bank of America is ranked number one for ongoing commitment to their workers with initiatives like Sharing Success, which awarded 97% of their teammates additional compensation, nearly all in stock. This is the program's seventh consecutive year, awarding more than $4.8 billion in total. Visit JustCapital.com to learn how a just business is a better business. Furnished by Just Capital. And Doug. Being a spokesperson is easy, kid. Just say, customize and save with Liberty Mutual. Customize and save with Liberty Liberty. That's not it. Liberty Mutual. Mm -mm. Liberty Musical. Nope. Liberty um, line. It's two words. Liberty Mutual. Got it. Don't not pay at LibertyMuttNoodle.com. Wow. I guess I'll just do it. <clears throat> Only pay for what you need at LibertyMutual.com. That's a wrap. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Underwritten by Liberty Mutual Insurance Company and Affiliates. Save big during MVP's bonus days at Lowe's with limited time deals on everything you need. Right now, buy one select DeWalt 20-volt max tool. Get one DeWalt 20-volt max power stack battery two-pack free. A $179 value. Plus, save $20 on a select bucket of deck plus wood screws. Find these deals and more in-store and online today. Because Lowe's knows savings. Lowe's knows pros. Valid 318 through 329. While supplies last. Selection varies by location. With Marriott Bonvoy, take your game day rituals on the road. No matter how you show your team spirit, you can find a stay for your style with over 30 hotel brands and thousands of global destinations. Marriott Bonvoy has a brand for every kind of fan. Marriott Bonvoy, official hotel partner of the NCAA. Discover more at MarriottBonvoy.com slash NCAA. Scott Graham, Jordan Cornette here at our Granger courtside seats in Pittsburgh. Winning teams know the value of a good sixth man. Down on Granger when your business needs a boost off the bench. Call or click Granger.com for supplies and solutions for every industry. 41-36, Sensi State on top of Oakland, 15-47 to go. Townsend, Trey Townsend with three made baskets in the second half. He's three for five. Rest of the team is 0 for three. So far, he is the Oakland offense of the second half. Yeah, Scott, he's liked the matchups when he's caught the basketball, whether it's almost been a, like the mid post. One time he's buried him on a low block, but he's able to use his quick first step, most especially when it's Burns defending him. But even if it's been DR, he's trying to get him with that first step, and DR caught up with him, and when he did, he got DR in the air, and then he went into him to finish. Townsend had a career-high 38 points in the Horizon League championship game. His free throw is good. He's got 14 in this one. His team back within four. 15.40 to go here in the ball game as NC State brings it into the forecourt. O'Connell driving around the top of the circle. His shot is no good. Middlebrook skies for the rebound and tries to save it when it goes out, but saved it right to Townsend. Oakland back on the attack. Golke leaves back behind for Townsend. Crossover dribble, take into the lane. Townsend on the run, lost the handle. Now shovels it off for Cole. Cole caught underneath the basket. Bounces it back outside. And now losing the ball. Mabel Larua, he went up as if to shoot and turns it over. Back in the forecourt, Middlebrooks, and Mabel Larua gets there just in time to commit a foul on the shot. It'll be his first. And ben Middlebrooks is going to the line to shoot two. Ball reversal, able to get the advantage to able to then drive it in and draw a foul for Middlebrook. Middlebrooks to draw the foul. And Middlebrooks, 75% on the year from the free throw line. First one is on the way, and it's no good. The official NCAA ticket exchange is the only NCAA-approved place to buy and sell authentic, 100% guaranteed Final Four tickets with other fans. Visit the official NCAA ticket exchange today at NCAA.com slash exchange. 15 minutes even left to go in the ball game. Middlebrook's free throw is good. 42-37. NC State, the 11 seed, leads Oakland, the 14 seed in the South region. And DQ Cole takes it across half court for Oakland. They pass around the perimeter. There's a touch for Townsend, as you would expect. They're going to duck it back down into the post to try and make a play here on Middlebrook's in isolation. 
That's what he does, spinning inside, and Middlebrooks fouled him. He can't believe it. Middlebrooks called for the personal, reaches for the top of his head, says no way. But that is his third. I guess one way to neutralize the big men from NC State is to try to foul them out of the game. Get them out of the game, and he plays with such a cerebral pace. He doesn't get sped up. He's good with his head fakes. He's good leveraging his body with low center of gravity. All that comes together, he's good at drawing whistles. And the front line of NC State is going to, have to be disciplined yet physical. And that's always a tough balancing act. The Ara and Middlebrooks both have three now. Inbound for the far baseline. It comes into Townsend. Townsend goes to work on it. Middlebrooks again. And inside, this time the contact is going to go against Townsend. He picks up his second. Very high IQ basketball play from Middlebrooks. Understanding that Townsend, if the head fakes, you don't fall for me. Then use his separation by lowering the left shoulder. Didn't fall for the head fake. Let him lower the left shoulder. Let him hit him in the chest that sold it. High IQ play to create the turnover for Middlebrooks. Just the third turnover, but the second straight for Oakland. NC State with the ball with a five-point lead. 14-23 left to play. Morcell dribbling on the right side. Gets it to Horn. One touch for Burns. Cross court to O'Connell. Now swings it to the top. Morcell's three-pointer is no good. Big time rebound for Burns. And fighting his way inside. Tries to throw through, but it's taken away. Lampman gets it to Golke. Left side three. It's good. In transition, Golke hits his fourth, and Oakland is back to within two. Transition allowing for the leak out, and in the leak out, there's nobody anywhere near the best shooter in the NCAA tournament right now. And Jack Golke and the crowd, electric. All the noise in the building right now being generated by the... Fans rooting for the team in the black and gold. Marcel, spinning baseline shot is short. Rebound down to Golke. And now Oakland comes down with a chance to tie or take the lead. He's at half court, but Scott, don't you get the sense he may shoot it. Cole with the dribble for Lampman on the far side. Right in front of his team's bench. Hands it off to Cole once again. Shot clock at six. Cole shovels back to Lampman. He drives toward the foul line. Fading jump shot is way too strong. Middlebrooks down with the rebound. And now a pass to the corner to Horn is thrown away. O'Connell was trying to fire it to the corner and just simply threw it too high. As NC State turns it over. 13.06 to go, and Oakland gets it back again. And you can feel a momentum shift with the three-point shot going from Golke. NC State starting to get a little bit more sped up than even they are accustomed to. Starting to be a little careless with the basketball, making poor decisions, decisions they were not making in the first 20 minutes. Lampman checks out. Rocket Watch checks in. Also in the ball game now, Jaden Taylor for NC State. Watts bouncing for Townsend. Up on top. Now Golke, catch and shoot three. Shot no good, but the rebound down to Cole. Gets it down low to Townsend who lays it home. We are tied at 42. Just the second tie of the ball game. Under 13 minutes left to go. And if you're the Wolfpack, you got to get DJ Burns a touchdown low to slow this game down a little bit. Cole poked it free. Ball loose on the floor. They're scrambling for it. Conway has a hand on it. Middlebrooks dove on top of the ball and him. I believe they're going to call held ball. They will. And possession arrow points North Carolina State's way. I'll tell you what. Everybody is leaving everything literally on the floor right <laughs> yeah, now. There is a, a lot of juice and electricity to this game now. It felt like, albeit a narrow margin of a lead for the pack, but they still felt like they were in control. But now a couple of turnovers, a couple of three balls going for Oakland with Hal Thompson's operating on the block. And this one got interesting. D.J. Horn takes the inbound. Guarded by Rocket Watts. And Watts is going to get called for the foul. Watts is not happy with the official and has something to say. His teammate, D.Q. Cole, kind of spins him around and says, okay, let's leave that alone. Watts wasn't trying to hear from his own teammate in Cole. Uh, he wasn't happy. But that dog of defense is how you have to approach things 
against Horn. Iron sharpens iron. He's going to be aggressive. You've got to meet it with an aggressive defense of your own. Can't play on your heels. Baseline inbound goes into the hands of Burns. D.J. Burns underneath. Shot up. Good and the foul. The big man's got so many moves around the basket. He gives NC State the lead once again and has a chance to extend it at the free throw line. One guy you're not going to speed up defensively is a big fella, DJ Burns. He's an immovable object. He's going to get to the space he wants to get to. And with that soft touch, he's always able to get it off the rim and give it a chance. Foul was on Conway, his second. Burns shoots it at 66% for the year. 6'9", 275, biggest guy on the floor. And in most places, I would imagine. Free throw is up and good. Three-point lead now for NC State, 45-42. 12-15 left to go in this ballgame. Rocket Watts bounces down to Townsend. Townsend back outside. Golke fake a three. Now take a three. Shot no good. Tip bottle won't go for Cole. Fight for the loose ball. And with two men diving after it, it's knocked out of bounds off NC State. It'll go back to Oakland when we come back. What was it Apollo Creed said about Rocky? You hit him again and again and again, and he just keeps coming after you. It's exactly the vibe of this one, brother. 11.59 left to go in the ballgame. NC State 45, Oakland 42. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Did you hit the like button? Texting privacy oh, policy and terms and conditions in textplan.us. Text plan for current unlimited text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but it's waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Hey, College Hoops fans, it's the best time of year again. And if you're a homeowner, there's more to love than just incredible basketball action. Because right now, you can save hundreds of dollars replacing your old windows and doors with Renewal by Anderson, sponsor of Westwood One's coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. Right now, save $377 off every window and $777 off every door. Just text March to 323232 for your free consultation and free price quote on top quality affordable renewal by Anderson windows or patio doors for no dollars down, no payments, and no interest for a year. That's right. You don't pay a dime for an entire year. Text March to 323232 right now to save $377 off every window and $777 off every door. But hurry, these big dollar savings won't last long. Text March to 323232 before the savings madness ends. Finding quality candidates for your small business is no little league game but indeed can help you cover all your hiring bases their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract screen and hire quality candidates and they don't just help you hire faster 93 percent of employers agree indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites according to a recent indeed survey Nix the hassle. Start hiring. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to expand your team today. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Even easier than choosing Charles Barkley in a pickup game. We'll take Barkley. Ha! First pick. Sorry, kids. <laughs> yep, even easier than that. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? Okay, here's the plan. Pass me the ball every time. This is banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com slash bank for details. Capital One and a member FDIC. Scott Graham, Jordan Cornett here at our Granger Courtside Seats in Pittsburgh. Keep your team moving forward with Granger. With over a million products, including hard-to-find items, Granger can help your business get a leg up. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. 45-42 NC State over Oakland with 11.59 to go. We were talking away at the break. We talked about a lot of things going into this game. Just about everything we anticipated, not to pat ourselves on the back, has been right. Yeah, absolutely. And it's been a it's been a Townsend game. It's been the interior of NC State. There's been some shot making from three. Uh, but right now, if I'm Oakland, I'm going to continue to ride Trey Townsend and play through him in this second half. Oakland inbounds, 20 seconds to shoot. Watts with the basketball inside half court, bothered by Jaden Taylor. Takes it to the left side. They want to get it to Townsend, not going there. Now Watts to the foul line. Shake and bake with the dribble, lost the handle on the ball. Taylor saves it inbounds to Burns, and that is the fourth turnover for Oakland. It's got too much dribbling from Rocket Watts. Got to move that thing to gain an advantage. Back the other way. Taylor tried a three, couldn't get it, and Townsend skies for the rebound for Oakland.
Oakland has not led in this ball game. They've been down by as many as nine. Watts in front of his own bench to Conway, head of the circle. Three-pointer is good. Chris Conway hits his third three-pointer of the year. And he ties the game at 45. It was a confident stroke, and it Burns doesn't want to guard him out there. And Burns, listening to the, to the scouting report, Conway up to the challenge, undeterred, knocks it down from distance. Now on the outside, Michael O'Connell uses his screen, bounce it down to Burns, left of the lane. Three men around him. He throws through to the near side to an open shooter. Shot is good for Casey Morsell. That play was made by D.J. Burns. It's a triple team, Scott. Three guys digging at him, two of them had their hands on the basketball. But once it gets into the arms of D.J. Burns, it's not coming out unless it's a swing pass to a three-point shooter, and it was. Big man's third assist of the ball game, 48-45. NC State on top. Golke, a catch. Can't get the shot. Now gets a three. Away. That shot high off the rim. No good. Rebound comes down to Jaden Taylor. NC State wants to run. Morsell to the foul line. Throws through far side. It's Taylor. Back to the near side. O'Connell wide open three. He got it. Back-to-back -back threes for NC State. They lead it 51-45. Good initial action. Dribble drive on the initial thrust. Gets the defense in rotations. Gets to the baseline, comes out to O'Connell, has a clean look for three. Townsend takes the entry pass. Going to work again on Middlebrooks. And all over him, Middlebrooks is going to get called for his fourth foul. He had done everything right until Townsend dropped the ball, and Middlebrooks kind of lost his position. When they met again, the foul was on Middlebrooks. Yeah, and I don't know if they're going to get Middlebrooks, Scott. When he, did he try to dig in and reach a little bit? Because there was a lot of body throughout the entire sequence. There's only so much you can do when you're guarding Townsend because he gets so low when he's trying to get into you. Now it's DR's turn to finish. He's playing with three as Middlebrooks sits. Townsend misses his shot, got his own rebound, put back, missed everything. He thought he got hit. The officials disagreed. It's Taylor. Leaving it behind for O'Connell. NC State by six with the basketball. 9.20 left to go. This almost feels like a danger zone for Oakland. Sitting back in the matchup zone. Viara, right corner. Shot clock at nine. Back to Taylor, head of the circle. He's going to drive into the paint. Spin move. Shot on the way. No good. And another rebound for Townsend. That gives him ten. Gives him another double-double. Drop it down, right block, Conway throws through for Townsend, left side, he wants a three, and that shot is good. He puts up three fingers as he gets his team back to within 51-48. He kind of hesitated from three, Diara jabbed at him a little bit, but Diara elected to dig back down, and what he did, Townsend offered it up. 19 on the game for Townsend. 8.29 left to go, Lampman nearly got a steal. Bounces it down to Burns, swings it around, and it's shot high off the glass, and good again for D.J. Burns. Fading away on that left block and decided to arc it high off the glass. A pretty impressive angle to finish it for Burns on a low block, who has an arsenal of moves. 15 points on the game for Burns, his team on top by five. We approach eight minutes left to go. Back to Townsend again, driving in the lane. Turn around, one-handed shot is good. He's got 21, and we've got a three-point game, 53-50. to 50. He's unstoppable, Trey Townsend down low. NC State walks it across half court. Now Burns in the high post, cross-court pass, shot on the way. No good, as Morcell couldn't hit the three, and... Golke came down with a rebound, but the ball was knocked out of his hands, and it last touched his hand. So NC State is going to get it back when we come back. A break in the action with 7.35 left to go here in Pittsburgh. North Carolina State 53, Oakland 50. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. 
Hey, what are you doing up on the step stool? About to clean these light fixtures. The whole family's coming over. And if there's even a speck of dust in the house, my abuela will find it. Here, I got a Swiffer duster to help with that. A Swiffer what? A Swiffer duster. It has this cool extendable handle that reaches six feet to get high and low with fluffy dusters that easily trap and lock dust. So no more step stool? No more step stool. Easily trap and lock dust from hard to reach places with the Swiffer duster. Love it or your money back. There are any number of reasons you might consider selling your home. That's where an agent who is a Realtor comes in to navigate the process to sell your home in a way that's right for you. Because that's who we are. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. Getting ready to take on spring? Make your first move with steel battery tools. Right now, save $50 on select AK system battery tool sets. Real steel. Find yours at steelusa.com. Offer valid on select AK system sets for a limited time only. Participating dealers while supplies last. Brad Heller back in our Westwood One studios in Los Angeles. Let's check the tournament scoreboard sponsored by Just Capital. Just Capital is a nonprofit that tracks which companies are a force for good. Companies like Bank of America, which just earned the prestigious Just Capital 2024 seal. One other game going on right now. It is in Charlotte. Tennessee leads Texas 10-6. They are eight minutes in there for the right to go to the Sweet 16 in Detroit. The two seed in the East, Iowa State, second Sweet 16 in three years. The Cyclones shut down Washington State 67-56. They're headed to Boston. North Carolina is going to Los Angeles. An 85-69 win over Michigan State. The Tar Heels erased a 12-point first-half deficit. Gonzaga, nine straight Sweet 16s. The Bulldogs beat Kansas 89-68. They are headed to Detroit. Let's get you back to, back to Pittsburgh. Scott Graham and Jordan Cornette. You can listen to the live stream of every game of the NCAA Men's Tournament right here on Westwood One, sponsored by Wendy's. Get a Dave's single for just a dollar, a Dave's double for just two bucks with the offers in the Wendy's app. Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer at participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for details. 7.35 left to play. NC State 53, Oakland 50. This is coming down to the wire, partner. Yeah, and it's taken away, really, the guards of this game, and it's become about which interior defense can generate more stops. NC State's very clear. They want to play through D.J. Burns. On the other side for Oakland, it's very clear. They want to play through Trey Townsend. Both of these guys having an impact. Both of these guys willing passers as well. Who can put together the stops is that last line of defense. Inbound is to Burns out of the timeout. Couple of passes. Now Taylor, a right side three. Shot no good. Rebound covered by D.Q. Cole. Oakland across half court. It's Townsend with the basketball. Back into the hands of Cole. Head of the circle. Gets it to Golke. Left side. Bounce pass on the triangle. Back down to Townsend. Townsend runs into Diarra. Throws back out to Lampin. Now right back inside. Townsend shot. No good, and the rebound down to Burns for NC State. It's becoming kind of a one-trick pony for Oakland. Cross half court. Here's O'Connell. Near side Taylor. To the middle of the floor for O'Connell and back again to Taylor. He shovels to the corner for Horn. Nothing there. Shot clock down to 10. Taylor, far side O'Connell. And now Diara, left side three is good. Right in front of his teammates. Diara nails the three. Defense, 56-50. Defense not respecting him out there. Diara is a capable three-point shooter. They've they got to extend this zone out. Can't just pack it in, but feel like they have to because of Burns' ability to score in the interior. Here's Golke, left side. He wants a three, and he got one. Get another three for Golke, his fifth of the game, and he was fouled on the shot. He's going to the line with a chance for a four-point play and to make this a two-point game again. I'm going to go ahead and diagnose the superstar shooter with amnesia because he forgets about the last miss and is in intense pursuit of the next make every single time, and that's what makes shooters special. He loves the moment. He doesn't care where the defense is, and he hits one with the hand in the face through contact. His free throw is good. Jack Golke doing it again. 16 points on the night. We've got a two-point ball game. 56-54 North Carolina State. 
And Golke now has the most made three-pointers in the first two NCAA tournament game of any player in history. Morcell down the lane. Gets it off to Diara. Back outside. It's Horn. Thought about the three. Nothing there. Shot clock at five. Cross-court pass. And it's all the way into the first row, the press row. Oakland's defense forces the turnover. The sixth of the game for NC State. And now the Golden Grizzlies bring it into the forecourt again, trying to tie or take the lead. Golke inside half court, picked up the dribble. Had it knocked away from him by Morcell. Now gets it back again. There's only 16 left to shoot as they get it across half court. Lampman down into the corner, invites a double team. Now Townsend kicks back outside for Cole, a three-pointer. Shot no good. And the rebound down to Michael O'Connell for NC State. 5.22 left to go. Wolfpack by two with the basketball, and they are going to call for a timeout. A break in the action with five minutes and 20 seconds left to go. It is NC State 56, Oakland 54. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. fuel system can help your engine run better and improve gas mileage. Visit O'Reilly Auto Parts and pick up a bottle of Chevron Tecron fuel system cleaner on sale now. Buy one, get one free, plus get two times O Rewards points. Just add it to your tank during your next fill-up. Stop by your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store for details. O, oh, O, oh, O, oh, O'Reilly Auto Parts Small business owners, we know finishing your to-do list can feel like climbing a mountain, but that mountain is also covered in banana peels. Then, when something new gets added to your list, you're like, nope, I'm already climbing this huge, super slippery banana peel mountain of a to-do list. At Progressive, we don't want to make your day any harder. That's why we make it easy to manage your policy on our mobile app. So climbing that banana peel mountain feels more like a leisurely stroll. See if you can save on commercial auto insurance in as little as six minutes at ProgressiveCommercial.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates. Coverage subject to policy terms and conditions. It's NCAA championship time. Fans of the hustle. Present. Fans of the heart. Present. Fans of the flash, grit, and grind. Present. The best fans in the lands are bringing everything they got for their team. Be there when your squad hoists the ultimate trophy overhead. The NCAA championship. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Class dismissed. If you're looking for the most epic place on earth, let's start at the base of a massive waterfall. Then trek through the thick jungle. Then climb to the peak of a snowy mountaintop. Then once you get there, keep going. Because with intelligent 4x4 and 7 drive modes and a Nissan Pathfinder, the search is the real adventure. Available feature. Intelligent 4x4 cannot prevent collisions or provide enhanced traction in all conditions. Always monitor traffic and weather conditions. You can listen to Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament for free on the Varsity Network app. Listen to every game live or on demand. Download the Varsity Network app now and search NCAA Championships. 5.20 to go here in the South Region. The 11th seed leading the 14th seed. NC State 56, Oakland 54. That's what makes the tournament so special. Moments like this, Scott. Right now, who can execute? Who can take care of the basketball? Who can fight through screens? Who can communicate? Where will help side be when it needs to be? Who's going to locate a block out? Right now, you got two teams. It's very clear how they want to execute moving forward. They want to run when they can, or they want to play through the post. So when you know what's coming at you, can you execute? In the final five minutes, teams get tight. Who can rise to the occasion? Inbound is for O'Connell. NC State with a basketball. Morcell from right in front of us. 25 for the hoop. Shovels it down to Burns. Burns on the right block. Back to the top, Morcell. Quickly, they reverse the basketball around, and now back again. To Morcell. Fake the three, gets it to O'Connell. Left side three is good. He rattled it home. Five point lead for NC State, 59 54. Thought they had an opportunity to get it down to DJ Burns. They looked him off because they knew they had the shooter on the wing, and O'Connell, who's become increasingly more confident as the season has worn on into the tournament. 
Cole with the basketball, standing on the March Madness logo just inside half court, picked up by D.J. Horn. Here's Townsend with eight on the timer from the left side. Beyond the arc, steps back, a three-pointer. It's good! He rained it down and got Oakland back to within two. 24 points on the ball game for Trey Townsend. 59-57, 4.18 left to go. In the corner, D.J. Horn thought about a three on the right side. Now goes back to the top for O'Connell. O'Connell shovels it down low. Now back to the top again. O'Connell swings it to Diarra, left of the lane. Comes to the near side for Morsell. An open three shot, no good. Burns, a big offensive rebound. And he is fouled on the way back up by Lampman. That is going to bring us to a break in the action. Free throws awaiting on the other side. And we still have a two-point game. NC State 59, Oakland 57. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include Did you hit the like button? The injection Come site, on, fatigue, hit the like headache, button. Muscle and Subscribe joint pain. Too. For full prescribing Join information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Where are my basketball fans at? Presents. Welcome to Fandom 101. The NCAA men's hoop season is here, meaning it's time for you to bring a little charisma and chaos for your squad. Be the sixth man in the stand. NCAA Division I men's basketball. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash MVP tickets. Class dismissed. Great-looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants, to polos and khakis, to Oxfords or t-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. Scott Graham, Jordan Cornett here at our Granger courtside seats in Pittsburgh. When you need products at a pinch, Granger's got you covered. Get same day pickup and next day delivery on most orders. Call, click Granger.com or stop by to get what your business needs. 3.59 to go. NC State 59, Oakland 57. And big DJ Burns going to the free throw line to shoot two for the Wolfpack. And DJ Burns continues to be the main artery, but not to be lost in the sauce of three-point shooting and timely three-point shooting from the pack because they'll go inside and come outside or they'll make the extra pass in the short corner of the zone to then get it outside for three-point looks. NC State operating at a high level offensively in the most important moments. Burns has hit his only foul shot of the night tonight. Big left-hander out of Rock Hill, South Carolina. First one is up, and it's good. He was the tournament MVP of the ACC. Averaged 15 points and better than three assists per game in that five-game magical run for North Carolina State. Hits on the second here. So Burns with a pair. He's got 17. Four-point lead for NC State. Does Oakland have another run in them? They have not led tonight. We're under four minutes to play. Lampman with a dribble over half court. Drops it down for Conway. Now Townsend, left baseline. Finds Golke. Golke steps right. Three-pointer. Good! He drills the three-pointer, and Oakland is within one. Golke now with six three-pointers and 19 points. 61-60. 3.26 left to go in the ballgame. 
against the matchup zone. NC State looking to feed it inside. They can't. Now they finally do. Six seconds on the shot clock. Burns running out of time. Morcell outside. They reverse it. Three-pointer. No good for O'Connell. Here comes Oakland with 3.04 to go and a chance to take their first lead of the night. So much tension in this building right now. Cole shovels it down to Towson on the right block. Turnaround shot. Good to the foul. Oakland takes the lead for the first time tonight. 62-61. And Trey Townsend's going to the line to try to complete a three-point play. Block to block screens to get Townsend a catch right at the rim. And he won the real estate battle on the catch. All he did to do is turn and finish through contact. And the elite score did absolutely that. The foul shot is good. He's got 27 for the game. And his head coach takes a 30-second timeout. Now that they're up 63-61, and two minutes and 49 seconds away from the Sweet 16. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, your home for the national championships. Ran out of fingers. Later on, we'll select the play of the day, sponsored by Old Spice. Introducing Old Spice Total Body Deodorant Spray. Giving you 24-7 freshness from pits to toes with daily use. What a fight from this Oakland team. Have been trailing this whole game. Stayed true to who they were. So much talk about Jack Golke. Deservedly so. He's been a big part of this. But re-announcing himself as one of the best players in this tournament. Trey Townsend making some big-time plays to get them the lead. His ninth double-double of the season, his 19th career, has put his team up. And by the way, that foul on Diara was his fourth. Subscribe to NC State now trailing for the first time tonight, down by two. Burns trying to find a cutter. Instead, he's going to take it inside himself. Rolling through the lane, his shot is no good, but on the reach in DQ, Cole is called for the personal. And that is not a shooting foul. It is going to be a one-and-one one opportunity for D.J. Burns. In the NBA, that'd be a shooting foul. They're not going to give him the continuation that they give to players in the association. So big one-and-one one here. They're going to deliberate if it was a shooting foul or not amongst the officials. Yep. There you go. The officials getting together, and they decide that it is a two-shot foul. Oakland fans are not happy. First free throw, no good. Two minutes, 39 seconds to go. Burns bounces, fires, and hits. 18 points for the big man. One point ball game, Oakland 63. NC State 62, 2.34 left to go in the ball game. It's Cole into the forecourt. One touch for Conway up on top. And now who else but Townsend right at the arrow. Shot fake. Now shot up. No good. They fight for the rebound. Townsend's got it and gets it back out to Golke. 2.15 left to go. They'll reset offensively. DQ Cole standing on the logo at midcourt. Goes to work as he gets it to Townsend to the high post. And a whistle off the ball and a foul call on Morcell. That's his first. They were trying to deny the ball to Townsend. As it turned out, Golke's the one who gets fouled. Yeah, because Morcell also trying to face guard Golke. To not even let him get a catch and in doing so, too much body called for the violation. One and one. First one is good for Golke. All kinds of confidence for this young man now with 20 points in the ballgame. 52 points in two games here in Pittsburgh. And two minutes away from the Sweet 16. Golke fires again, and that shot is no good. The rebound down to Diara. Two-point game. 64-62, Oakland on top. The number 14 seed in the South, leading the 11 seed. 
McDonald across half court. Bounces for Morsell near side. 22 for the hoop. He gets it to Burns. Now on the give and go. Morsell shot. No good. But he was fouled on his way down the lane. And he's going to go to the line with a chance to tie it with a foul call on DQ Cole. His ball, third. Ball goes down low to Burns. And he commands so much attention on that low block that it was just as simple from the top of the key. Cut to the basket right behind the defense for Morsell. And a ticky-tack foul. He should have been able to finish for the end one. Mad at himself and has a chance for two at the line. Terrific free throw shooter at 81%. First one up, and it is no good. Morsell has started 85 consecutive games now. One of the longest starting streaks in program history. Brad Student out of Fort Washington, Maryland. His second is on the way. That one is good. 64-63, Oakland by a point, 147 left to go. Packer going to extend this thing out with their defense, try and see if they can speed up Oakland, possibly generate a turnover. They had some success in the first half here. It's going to fall back into some soft pressure just to work the clock a little bit more. Here's Cole, cross half court. And he is content to take his time now with 135 to go as they get the offensive set ready. Cole gets it to Townsend. Townsend underneath, throws through. Far side, three-pointer. Lampman is an air ball, and the rebound down to Middlebrooks. He was wide open for three and threw it way over the top of the rim. And NC State into the forecourt is going to call for a timeout. 117 left to go. We got a great one here. Oakland 64, NC State 63. You're listening to the Bench Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. It's a mystery where Old Spice finds its amazing scents like Himalayan sea salt, but I'm thrilled they have because no other body wash exfoliates and moisturizes 24-7 like Old Spice Gentleman's Himalayan sea salt body wash. Now, if only there was a mountain range separating the Indian subcontinent from the Tibetan plateau where I could hide my Old Spice and keep my family from stealing. Hit the like button. And possibly Come on, hit the like button. And subscribe too. Join the family. Whether you're looking for style, inspiration, or on-trend pieces, turn any space into your happy place with Ashley. Shop Ashley's anniversary sale in store or online today. 64-63, Oakland over NC State. Golden Grizzlies 9-1 in games this year, decided by five points or fewer. NC State inbounds. What did they draw up in the timeout? Burns back out to Morsell. Back into Burns, left side of the lane. He's double teamed. Back out to Morsell once again. Head of the circle. He's going to drive to the elbow. Picks up the dribble. Back to O'Connell. Four left to shoot. O'Connell crosses over. Drive. Shot. Go to the foul. Oh, what a shot by Michael O'Connell. With the shot clock winding down, he banks it home and gives NC State the lead. He'll have a free throw to try to cap it off. I didn't think O'Connell was going to get off the shot. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Top of the key. He was on his heels, ripped through to get some momentum going to the basket. A Euro step through contact, and it becomes an and one opportunity for the rising star for the pack. Became a starter for good during the ACC tournament. And he hits the free throw to give NC State a two-point lead with under a minute to go. Here comes Cole into the fourth court for Oakland. 45 seconds left to play. They give it to Conway down in the corner. Now Golke, catch, and the ball knocked out of his hands as he's on his way to the corner. They weren't going to let him try the three, but they did foul him, grabbing on his jersey. So Golke is going to the line for a one-and-one -one opportunity with 41 and a half left to play. And make no mistake to no one's surprise watching or listening to us, Golke was hunting a three-point shot right there, so he'll have at best an opportunity to get two here and tie this ball game up, and that's a pretty nice deal. Two out of three from the line tonight is Jack Golke. Spins the basketball. He fires and hits. Oakland will get Rocket Watts back in the game. Lampman just not his night. Going to the bench right now. 11 second differential between game and shot clock. Golke's free throw is good. And we are tied at 66. North Carolina State's going to call a timeout immediately and draw it up in the forecourt. 
with 36.8 seconds left to play. NC State with the basketball in a tie game at 66. Stay with us for the Bosch Night Performance Wiper Blades Tournament Post Game Report. We'll check the final stats and you'll hear from a member of the winning team. Bosch Night Performance Wiper Blades reduce blur and glare to help you see on stormy nights. Find them at auto retailers near you. Night vision has evolved. Well, I don't think there's any doubt about where the ball's going out of this, right? It, it's how it can get there. It's how it can get down low to DJ Burns. That defense is tightening up. They're trying to dig down. Help side stabbing at different ways. Digging down, digging down. So the biggest concern has to be for NC State. Can we effectively deliver the ball down low to DJ Burns? Because the defense is expecting that. If you're looking at the reset right now, that was the last time out for NC State. Oakland's got two remaining. They also have the possession arrow. NC State has only committed eight fouls. Remember, when the ball goes back to Oakland, a non-shooting foul would be a one-and-one. One. What are they talking about in the Oakland huddle right now? They're talking about where that help side's going to come from. They're talking about getting into rotations defensively. They're talking about locating blockouts because there's enough time, a 12-seconds differential for them. If they possess a rebound here, they'll have an opportunity for a win, for a tie, uh, somehow they're going to get the basketball if they do the proper things. But defensively, they're talking about how to defend through D.J. Burns when they dive. Help side has to be in concert with each other and in sync. You can say anything you want to say about the NCAA tournament. It's moments like this that make it special. 66-66, 37.3 to go. And the 11th seed in the South, North Carolina State with the basketball, the 14 seed in the South defending as NC State looks to inbound. They get it to O'Connell. Remember we said about a 12 second differential between game and shot clock. Morcell feeds it down to Burns right of the lane. Back to Morcell up top. O'Connell on the left side of the top of the circle for Diara. Now in the left corner. They get it to Burns. Spinning shot up. No good. Townsend down with the rebound. 18 seconds left to go and Oakland comes into the forecourt. They are going to call the timeout as they cross the half-court strike with 12.3 seconds left. Oakland's got the ball and a chance for the win. Burns had an angle, but he was pushed off the block more than he was accustomed to, so it was a difficult angle. He couldn't get the low post position he wanted. Quite simply, Dior had him early. Dior missed him by the time he got it to him. He was pushed more off the block degree of difficulty for the shot increasingly higher now the beauty of it is for Oakland coming out of this timeout you have two dynamic scores Golkis who's, who's done it from the three-point line and down low Thompson Ta Townsend who's been unstoppable certainly there's gonna be some sort of two-man game or playing to a side with these two guys but one of those two young men who have been electric this evening will decide it for Oakland and what an opportunity to become a legend most of the lower bowl is standing, and not every one of them is a fan of one team or another. Remember, we've got another one coming after this, Creighton and Oregon. In general, you root for the Cinderella. Well, both of these teams have a little bit of Cinderella in them, but only one of them is going to make it to Dallas on Friday to play either Marquette or Colorado. I am nervous as all get out, and I'm not even playing the game, Scott. This is what it comes down to for these two teams. Can you stay in the moment? Can you temper your emotion? And can you play basketball in the most important 13.5 of your playing careers? Out of the timeout and out of the coach's instructions, a brief sidebar for Golke and Townsend. Here we go. Oakland will inbound for the far side. 13.5 left to go in the ball game. Golke gets it to Watts. Here we go. Tied at 66. Watts waiting for it to develop. Seven seconds left. Picks up the dribble. Gets it to Conway. Four seconds left. A bounce pass thrown away. They tried to get it to Townsend and it was thrown away. And now, are they calling a late foul? They're saying it was deflected. They're saying it was out of bounds on NC State. They'll go to the monitor. And I imagine this will be flipped very quickly. 1.3 seconds to go. The bounce pass, we're getting a look at it right now. I, Honest to God, I think you're wrong. I think the ball I is going to NC State. I, I, I don't think the ball hit the RS hand. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, you said it would be flipped. They called it off of NC State. And now when I look, it is off NC State. 
on the replay. Ball's still on the hand of the passer when he gets past Diara. It's still on his hand. He still has his hand on the ball. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But the initial call was Oakland basketball. It will be reversed to NC State. The ball tipped the arrow's finger, but Conway still was holding it as he threw the pass out of bounds. It's very clear that this ball belongs to NC State. They do not have a timeout left, and there's 1.3 seconds to go. You'll have to look at the clock with 1.3 now on the clock and what you decide to do here. Well, that's the other thing, right? After they make this decision, I would imagine they got to figure out how much time to put back on, if there is any. Conway tried to bounce it out to Townsend, who was nowhere near the area. Did you hit the like button? Come for a on, team that barely like turned the ball over all too. night long. Five Don't turnovers. Down. That one is egregious in the closing seconds of the game. The beauty of the replay is they have an opportunity to get it right here. Although you wish you didn't have this much stoppage, you just go back to playing basketball. But getting the call right is all that matters. They're rolling back now. Not for possession, I don't think, but to try to figure out time. Yeah, they are. When did the ball go out of bounds? And the answer to the question is it probably went out of bounds with about two seconds, maybe 1.8. It is North Carolina State basketball. And now they've got to figure out what the time is going to look like. NC State, remember, does not have a timeout. They can't flip the ball into the forecourt and call a timeout. It's going to be catch, dribble, and fire. Oakland saying no fouls, no fouls. They put 1.7 on the clock now. Four tenths of a second back. You should have a curling screen with momentum. Maybe more so as a timeline. They've got to take it nearly 94 feet. O'Connell gets it in. Turn around for more cells. Shot at the buzzer. Oh, he got it on the rim, but it's no good. It hit the backboard and the rim. It would have counted, but it was no good. And we are going to overtime. Gordon Hayward-esque in the national championship game versus Duke and how the ball came backboard to rim for the game. And what lucky people we are to be here at half court for extra basketball with the birth of the Sweet 16 on the line. All tied up at 66. We're back with overtime in Pittsburgh in a moment. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Progressive presents Renters MVP's Most Valuable Possessions. Today's MVP, Emily Neal's 70-inch TV. Because after watching her second-grade students yell at each other for hours, there's nothing Emily enjoys more than watching super-rich housewives also yell at each other. Why? Because those women are not her responsibility. And that's why her TV is today's MVP. Keep your most valuable possessions protected by bundling your renters and auto insurance with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. There's not much more juice you can squeeze out of this orange. Five minutes put back on the clock. We are going to go to overtime for Oakland and NC State. Tied at 66. A dramatic end to regulation that was possibly a shot that Oakland never got. A reversal of a call on a replay. And a, I don't know, what would you call it? 65-foot heave (laughs) from Casey Morsell that almost went in at the buzzer. Uh, But, you know... And maybe I'm splitting hairs here, Scott, but I felt like Morcell could have taken a quicker dribble with momentum pushing towards it and made it an honestly more makeable shot at half court. Those are shots that you practice. Those those are more makeable. He caught it, turned, and heaved, where I think he could have caught with some momentum because there's no defense on him. Catch, pushing, Remember dribble, everybody go. Everybody hit that like Since button, you're talking about momentum, is there momentum now going sure into the second, in this third tonight. period? I truly I don't, don't believe there's any momentum. I, I think it's even. I think we're playing an even five minutes of basketball. What is worth tracking, though? Four fouls for Diara, four fouls for Middlesbrooks. You could very well see both of them out of this game on two possessions playing down low through Townsend if you're Oakland. Time for the overtime tip-off, sponsored by Progressive. Protect your home and auto. Save when you bundle. Get a quote at Progressive.com. Five more minutes at least to play in this ball game. NC State led through most. Oakland led late. And now 
It's the Golden Grizzlies who control the tip. It'll get the first try in the extra period. Watts shovels to Townsend, right side. Going to work on Middlebrooks. Throws through near side. And now back to Watts up on top. Watts down in the corner. Cole wants a three. Shot no good. And the rebound down for D.J. Horn for NC State. Horn brings it across half court. He's going to wait for the big man Burns to get into position to run the offense. Morcell from the right wing into the lane. Spin move. Shot up. No good. Rebound down. Middlebrooks out hustled everybody for it. Now Burns has it poked away in the lane and stolen. Seventh turnover for NC State. Burns doesn't have the ability or the luxury to be casual with the basketball because the pressure is coming in a different way from Oakland on their dig downs with active hands. Townsend shovels for Golke. Three-pointer right side. No good. And the tip rebound goes out of bounds. Last touching the hand of Horn, it'll go back to Oakland with a fresh 20. And Cole had the inside track. He was the one blocking out as the offensive rebounder. And I thought Horn went over the back. No whistle. But Oakland yet still has another opportunity with a fresh 20 on the clock. Watt's going to come back out of the ball game now. And they do get Lampman back in. He has struggled shooting the basketball. Just two for seven from three. And the inbound to Townsend goes over his fingertips and all the way into the backcourt. That'll just slow him down with regard to the shot clock. Townsend pushing inside, and Middlebrooks just fouled him, and that's going to be foul number five on Ben Middlebrooks. Just like that, playing through Townsend, an opportunity, and a lot of discussion here on the inbound pass, hitting the hand of Townsend and going across the timeline. He didn't control the basketball, so it's not a violation if it goes across the timeline. Middlebrooks, who had a career-high 21 here Thursday, is going to leave with just two points tonight. And he taps Diara on the chest. Four fouls coming into the game to replace five fouls. Trey Townsend at the line now. Shot is up. Shot is good. What a night he is having. 28 points, 12 rebounds. One of the cornerstones of this program. Second shot up. That one is no good. 67-66. Oakland over NC State. We are in overtime. 3.39 left to go in the extra period. O'Connell comes near side for Horn. Back to O'Connell. Horn, head of the circle. Shake and bake. Step into a three-pointer. No good. Townsend, good position for the rebound. Had it knocked out of his hand. They say at last touch Morsell. Marcel saying, go look at the replay. It last touched him. And the officials over on our side, in our perspective, I don't know how he could see a basketball play with the backs of the players involved to him. I think Kevin Keats agrees with you. But the ball's going to belong to Oakland. They are not going to take a look. Golden Grizzlies coming to the forecourt now with a one-point lead in the ball. Lampman gives it to Cole. Cole. Left side of the top of the circle. Bounces it to Townsend. What else is new? Down low. Shot. No good. Bothered by Diara. No foul call. And the rebound down to NC State. Very well could have been Diara's fifth foul. Would have got him out of this game for Oakland. Horn driving, dishing, burns. Layup good. NC State leads it. 2.43 left to go as Oakland goes to work. Lampin, left baseline, pulls up, gets it to Townsend. Townsend driving into the paint. In traffic, in trouble, in the lane. Now they leave him alone, and he misses a baby hook shot. But the rebound tapped out of bounds off NC State, and Oakland will get a fresh 20 seconds. Townsend had the basketball right in the heart of the paint. Three defenders on him, and he picked up his dribble, and two of them inexplicably left him. They had a pretty clear look, couldn't finish, but stayed with the play. Out of bounds under, fresh 20 for Oakland. Oakland 0 for 4 so far in the overtime period from the floor. Townsend going to work, and a blocking foul is called on Diarra. He's out of the game. Just like we said, coming in, could be a couple possessions for this Oakland team, and the front line could suddenly be depleted, minus Burns down low. And having Burns is great offensively, but Burns poses no threat defensively to stop the offensive juggernaut that is Trey Townsend. 
the Horizon League Player of the Year. And right now, stop me if I'm wrong, partner. He has a look on his face like, I'm going to win this game. Probably the same look he had in that championship game of the conference tournament where he went for 38. They punched their ticket. And to the very unfortunate circumstance for the opposition in this region, they have to face him on the floor. He had 28 in back-to-back -back games earlier this year. He's got 28 right now, 22 since halftime. And he goes to the line now. His first free throw is good. Ties the game at 68. One more try coming. Shot is up. Shot is good. 69-68, Oakland, 2.25 to go in overtime. Trey Townsend has played every single minute of this college basketball game. What a performance to this point. Morcell playing catch on the outside. Now they go down to the left corner. It's Taylor. Swing it back around and reverse it for Horn, who dribbles in. They kick back out. Taylor open three left corner. No good. Burns got the rebound on the putback. A so, short three-point shot so flat that an opportunity presented itself for Burns right there, point blank for the tip in. Big dude's got 22, and his team's back in the lead with 152 left to go in the game. Pass to Townsend, knocked away. Now bodies on the floor, and they say that it's on Townsend's arm as he goes out of bounds. It'll be a turnover. The ball goes back to NC State. They are just simply denying him the basketball. 19 feet for the hoop. And at that point, if he gets the basketball, Townsend is determined to back you down from the three-point line. So much like they're doing goalkeep, it's denied, denied, denied. Make somebody else beat you. NC State, a one-point lead and the basketball. From the corner, stepping into an 18-footer. The shot is good for D.J. Horn. And the officials count the bucket, but they blow the whistle. They're going to call the, the foul on Burns wow. and offensive rebounding, and now that's massive because it's two free throws on the other end. I don't recall the last time I've seen that. It must be egregious. We're going to look at a replay here. And oh, honestly, yeah. it almost looked like it was Lampman who came underneath with over, almost a hook and hold on Burns who kind of pushed shrugged him off. Well, Burns threw him down. Lampman walks to the other end, and he goes to the free throw line and misses on the first. A 93% shooter. Like the great Rasheed Wallace said, ball don't lie. Said a lot of other things, too. Next one is up, and it's good. 72-70, NC State by a bucket. We're coming up on 90 seconds left to go here in overtime. What a game. I agree. They're playing catch on the outside again. O'Connell and Morsell. Try to get it to Burns, they do. He gets the double team, kick to the right corner, and Taylor drills a three. The inside out game is back in the overtime for NC State. They lead it by five. You got it to Burns on a the block. They doubled that left Taylor wide open from the baseline to deliver from distance. Townsend hands for Golke. His three pointer, no good. Long rebound, and Townsend can't save it in bounds. 56.3 to go, and NC State by five. Gets the basketball back. Two huge shots inside out for NC State. And they've got a little bit of breathing room now with under a minute to play. Jaden Taylor trots it across half court. Picked up there by Watts. Now back to Morsell, far side of the floor. It's O'Connell. He's just holding and waiting. 40 seconds left to play. Fires back for Morsell. Morsell drives, kicks to the corner. It's Horn in traffic, and he is fouled with only 4.9 left on the shot clock as Watts came in and tried to grab a steal. Silly decision from Rocket Watts, selfishly to try and get in with the steal for the run out the other way. You had good position defense. Your help side got too aggressive. And now it's an opportunity at the line to add to the lead for the pack. Greg Campy very upset with the foul. It came so late in the shot clock. First free throw is good for D.J. Horn. Six-point game. This could turn it into a three-possession game. 
And folks in North Carolina State can start thinking about a trip to Dallas. Horn's free throw is good. 77-70. Time running out on the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. Into the forecourt. Cole. Hands for Golke. Turn around. Three-pointer. No good. Rebound down for Conway. Up to the top. Watch three. No good. Rebound down for Burns. And he is fouled. 17.1 to go. And they are starting to celebrate in the NC State cheering section. No such thing as fatigue, fatigue for this packed squad. Five wins in five days just to get here. And on a precipice in 17 seconds of two of the biggest wins in a long time for the pack. DJ Burns has been marvelous tonight. Scoring and distributing. His first one is up and good. Big man's got 23 points, but he also has 10 rebounds and 4 assists. And the offense has literally run through him. 5 out of 6 from the line tonight. Can make it a 9-point game with only 17 seconds left. It's good. Did you hit the light button? 79 oh, 70. The light button. Cole takes it across half court. Fires a long three, and it's good. And a quick timeout for Oakland. Down by six with 14 seconds left. Our score is 79 73. A timeout on the court. And obviously, you're going here for steal if you can. Quick foul. 14 seconds is not a lot of time. 14 seconds is not. You got to try and see in those first few seconds if you have the opportunity for a miracle steal. Otherwise, you got to extend this, make this the longest 14 seconds in American history. Scott Graham, Jordan Cornette here at our Granger courtside seats in Pittsburgh. When you need products in a pinch, Granger's got you covered. Get same day pickup and next day delivery on most orders. Call clickgranger.com or stop by to get what your business needs. As we said, the winner of this game will face the winner of Colorado and Marquette on Friday in Dallas in the Sweet 16 round. Been a while since NC State has been there. They won a tournament game against Villanova here in 2015. And then they lost to Louisville in the Sweet 16. That's the last time they progressed that far. There's just something about the magic of Wolfpack basketball. And everybody knows the iconic Jimmy V in that run. And I'm not going to make reference to that. They've got a long way to go. But for a team that wasn't supposed to be here, Scott, what a position that they put themselves in to continue playing basketball here in March. NC State inbounds now. 14 seconds to go. They get it to Taylor, and Taylor lost the ball. He juggled the ball out of bounds. It's going back to Oakland with 12.4 seconds left. Oakland has gifted three-point shooters, obviously, in Jack Oakey, but you don't necessarily need the three. You want to hunt it first. If they give you a quick lane for two, and you only lose a couple seconds off the clock, take it. You're going to pursue a three, but if it can happen uber quick, you don't mind that two. They're going to get Lampman back in the ball game. He is a, an accomplished three-point shooter, and he's also going to key the inbound now. Pack's got to switch things because Golke's going to come off here looking to catch and go. Good. They, they get it into Golke. Golke shot fake. Now three-pointer on the way. No good. Rebound down to Burns. NC State dribbling the clock away into the forecourt. This one is going to end, and it's going to end with a six-point win for the Wolfpack. Five straight wins in the ACC tournament. Two wins here in Pittsburgh. The school that coined the phrase survive and advance has done just that. North Carolina State is going to the Sweet 16 with a 79-73 win over the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. They executed their game plan, Scott. They played through their front line. They got an elite performance from D.J. Burns, who was incredibly efficient both from the field and the free throw line, finishing with 24. Golke hit some big-time shots, but down the stretch when it mattered, he was not a factor as they took away the three-point shot from him. They executed. They were good with the basketball. Defensively dug in when they had to. 
incredible performance from a team who's captured magic here in March. Both teams with the handshake lines, and they have to respect the hell out of each other for the way this game was played. You could tell as Coach Keats and Coach Campy met at, at, at midcourt there to shake hands. They kind of looked at each other like somebody unfortunately had to lose this game, and I'm not waxing poetic, but these are two winning, two winning programs. Performance tonight, performances to get here. It's what the tournament's about, some incredible individual performances. Somebody had to win, and because of DJ Burns, it was the pack. Folks wearing red behind the Wolfpack bench are going absolutely nuts right now. Let's check the final stats sponsored by Allstate. Some people just know there's a better way to do things, like bundling your home and auto insurance with Allstate. Visit Allstate.com or call for a quote today. D.J. Burns, 24 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists. He helped lead the way for NC State in this game. They shot 45%, 35% from three-point range. And one of the guys who was absolutely huge in terms of what they were doing Controlling the ball and the pace in this ball game at eight assists joins us right now. Michael O'Connell, congratulations. Uh, thank you so much. This is an unbelievable experience, and I'm so proud of the team and how we played out there. Watching what has happened with this team as you guys came together through the ACC tournament, going through this epic game tonight, could you guys be any closer right now? Yeah, I mean, it's unbelievable. The locker room, we're all, we're all super close. Like, no matter if we're going through ups and downs, everyone stays together. It's been great in the huddles. You know, we're holding each other accountable, which is really great out there. And when dudes are down, we're able to pick each other up and, you know, keep each other in the flow of the game and just keep competing. Michael, I know you're a team guy, but I want to talk about you. Your rise to significance, relevance, importance to this team. Take me through what this journey for this year has been for you, becoming a starter, making some of the biggest shots in this program's history in a long time. Yeah, I just, I just try to do everything I can for the team to help them win. At the end of the day, you know, the biggest thing I want to do is win. You know, it doesn't really matter my accolades or what I do on the court if I get, you know, the best stats or anything like that. I don't, it doesn't really matter to me. I don't really care. At the end of the day, I just want to experience this with the guys and just keep winning games. So, I mean, it's been great, and I have all the time confidence in myself, and the teammates have confidence in me. So I'm just trying to go out there and make plays. You guys were running your offense through the big man, but you guys had a very set plan of what you were doing in that second half as things got tense as each possession became more and more important, that's going to be piling more on your shoulders as you're catching the ball each time. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we're just out there playing basketball, so I just want to rely on my instincts and do what we do. You know, we, have, we had a great game plan from the coaches, so just kind of relying on that and just relying on, you know, myself and what I've been doing my whole life and just go out there and try to make plays and make plays for the team. Not as tough as an economics degree in three years from Stanford? Uh, it's comparable, you know. <laughs> Congratulations. Enjoy the Sweet 16. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. That is Michael O'Connell, a grad student who is on his way with his Wolfpack teammates as the number 11 seed in the South to the Sweet 16 in Dallas. What a ball game here tonight in Pittsburgh. Our final score, 